Hey, everybody. Welcome to, uh, see, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what we're referencing. Good. Woo! Hmm? Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. We totally nailed that. Let's start again. <laughs> Let's start again. I know it's live, but we can, we can go to yeah. the beginning, Three, right? Three, two. Nah. I can go back to pre-show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Film in front of a well, live first studio of all, thank audience. You, thank you very much for joining us here tonight at Saving Throw. We are going to be playing Atomic Horror. Uh, it is a GURPS game. And... Uh, Anyway, uh, we are here to relive a 1953 game called uh, Stalin's Brain. It was a Rick Gorman's movie uh, that was based in a small town called Sunny Ridge. Everyday town, uh, mom and dad, you know, mom's making apple pie, dad's going to work, his kids are happy in school, kind of the idyllic 1950s uh, setting. Uh, the movie used a marketing gimmick where the, uh, there were several different, uh, the, the audiences could pick what next reel would be put up and so that the, the uh, movie could go in any different direction. Uh, and the, that's the reason why uh, you'll see different versions of this movie out in, in the world. Um, the picture was written and filmed in a three week period. Uh, so it was very fast, and uh, let's see, what else can I tell you before we go? Um, so chat can help decide uh, what version of the film we're going to play through, and, uh, you know, take a look at the donations page, and you guys can pick uh, some of the different things. There are things like re-rolls for both the GM and for players, which are very helpful, and can always, <laughs> can always be nice to have. Um, as I said, the picture was, is set in Sunny Ridge, a small, peaceful Midwestern town uh, in somewhere USA. Um, let's see. The, it's the end of the summer vacation when the movie opens up, and uh, we're going to meet our players uh, with that first opening scene. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, so... Like I said, it is summertime, uh, but it's the very tail end of summertime. School starts off Monday. Uh, what I'd like you to do is introduce your character, and then we'll get into the first scene. So, Michelle? I'm Betty Richards, and I am 17, and I am a member of the cheer squad, though I'm not very good. I'm just on the cheer squad, you know, because I, all the popular girls are on there. But really, I'm kind of more nerdy and into things like chemistry so it's really fun <laughs> uh, I'm Tim Tadwell and I'm 17 as well and this fall or uh, rather next fall I'll be attending State University and I'm on student council because I believe that the children are the future and another thing that is important about the future are robots and I will talk at length about robots after my compatriots have introduced themselves Hi, I'm playing Lucy Wolf, and Lucy Wolf is a cheerleader and also a photojournalist. I always carry my Instamatic. You never know when there's going to be a photo opportunity. And really, my life goal is to meet and marry Rock Hudson because we're soulmates. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Wake, 17 year old biker bad boy. <laughs> Probably gonna get work at a shop if I don't land in juvie or something. Who knows? I don't care. <laughs> Pretty succinct. All right, cool. Um, so, <laughs> you guys, it's the, it's the final weekend before you go back to school. And uh, there are several different things. Uh, you work, uh, you've been working kind of part-time at a place uh, called uh, uh, Hall Gas, which is a hamburger joint and gas station. Um, <laughs> I like that one myself. So, sure. um, uh, so you've been working there. So you're you're working there on uh, uh, Friday night or Saturday night, and um, uh, the rest of you guys are hanging up, hanging out there in the actual uh, in the actual restaurant. Um, so you know you're talking with everybody. Uh, the music going it rock hasn't really hit, but. They're still, they, they play a lot of the uh, like blues, faster blues stuff. And so music is changing kind of around you. There's a, there's a shift starting to happen. Um, 
what do you guys want to talk about or who do you think you would be talking to or, you know, during why people. anything about you know like adding chemicals to maybe mm -hmm. make him make him uh, uh, a little more lifelike I can help you out with that I think there was an add-on that you could purchase for a chemical brain but well I'd already spent my $14 so I guess this mechanical man's gonna be pretty dumb <laughs> <laughs> I take a quarter and I put on the loudest song in the jukebox okay <laughs> all right so you start blaring music out Actually, for a quarter, I could probably do more than one. Yeah, you could yeah, probably you do <laughs> yeah. six. At the a quarter is yeah. like like a burger, fries, exactly. and a shake yeah. or something. So yeah, I'm going to line up some of the loudest ones and the ones that have the newest dances associated with them because I always keep on top of the latest dance crazes. Okay. So people are milling about and the music's blasting and stuff like that. Um, but I don't have the copyright for a lot of the music, so I can't play the blasting music. Um, <laughs> And uh, as you as you guys are, are talking, and and uh, you know, um, most of your classmates are there. Uh, this guy named Greg comes in. He says, uh, "Hey guys, uh, I found something strange down at at the the lake, which is makeout point basically. Uh, you guys want to come and come and see?" And some of the people are like, "Yeah, some, yeah. hell's yeah!" I'm gonna take uh... off my apron. How many times do we have to tell you not to look in the car windows? It's gross. It wasn't in the car, it was down by the river. Oh, Lucy, you're such a gossip. I'm telling you, I wasn't looking in the, the, the windows, okay? I don't do that anymore. Listen, Lucy, it's okay. I understand if you're scared. You don't I'm not go. scared of anything, <laughs> except well, for maybe your breath. Maybe. Let's find out. Well, want to come with? Gee, I think Is Betty and I might be interested in going no, and checking it out, too. Oh, that'd be great. So okay, I never back down. From the I'm a scared, but I'll I go. Know. So you guys, you guys head out to his car. Um, are you going to stay at the diner or go? Um, I'll I'll go. He's dared me to go. Okay, so. cool. All I right. Back down. So you you head out, and um, uh, it doesn't take you very long to get down to the river. Can I take my motorcycle? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> well, of course. Um, and to apron off, jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> so I you guys film in my Instamatic. You guys get down to the to the river, okay. and there's just like what a trip. It's it's pretty peaceful down there. the 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 water is 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 you know slowly going down the the creek bed, and. Uh, you go to where he has uh, he has you guys park and it's it's down by the riverbed and you look at there's this um, looks like a jumpsuit or something um, laying there with these large gashes in it um, uh, the it's ripped pretty pretty badly. Is there any blood or anything on it? There's dark stains that you think might be blood. He goes, look, do you think it's like a, a dead hobo or something's down the river or something? Golly, I don't know, and I don't know if I want to know. You drag us down here to look at your laundry? This isn't mine, look. I'm five foot something. That guy's got to be six foot four. Hold it up. It's pretty big. It's, it looks like a um, uh, mechanic's outfit, uh, but there's, the patch has been ripped off and there's big cuts in it. So we're down here for some dirty laundry that washed up on the river. There's somebody, there might be a body nearby. Hmm. We should go look, right? Did he oh strip before? Oh my God, he'll before? be naked. He'll have underwear on. I don't know. Oh, golly, I don't know if I'm ready to look some at Some of that. those guys. What's wrong? I'm scared you might like it. A dead body? Yes. That's gross. I don't know how you were raised, but I was raised differently. Obviously. 
Although, you know, if we do find it, it would be a fantastic story to go back to school on Monday with. We'd be the local heroes. Well, and think about it. If there's some poor naked dead guy out there, we at least deserve, we at least owe it to him to call the authorities so he gets a proper burial, right? And see, I'm well, not the only true. one thinks he might be naked. I just want to make sure that's clear. So right now, Greg is with you, uh, Tina's with you, and uh, Eric is with you. Uh, they're classmates. And uh, they're apprehensive. They're like, well, I, Greg isn't. Greg wants to go look. But uh, Tina and Eric are like, Meh. But they'll, they'll go with you if you guys want to, you know, follow the, the, you know, look around for tracks or anything. You can do that. Um, it's up to you. Uh, hey, hey, Jimmy, take my flashlight. Why don't you take the lead on this one? Obviously. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Hold a light on it. I want to get a photo of this so that we can really track the entire trail of the story from beginning to end. So I'll go ahead and okay, I'm shine a light right on it. Snap a photo. Okay, cool. For fun, so that I can tell <laughs> uh, chat real quick some of the mechanics of the game, uh, we're going to have you do a skill check and then I'm going to explain what you did. Uh, so roll 3d6 and just roll against your journalism. I believe you have journalism. I do. Okay, so roll against that and you want to get underneath the... Nice. Okay, so yeah, that was 6 and I have a skill of 11. Okay. Um, so you got underneath, so that's successful. Basically, in GURPS, everything's based off uh, six-siders. Uh, we roll 3d6 for skills or against attributes. If you get underneath the score that you have or the, the number you have, it's a success. If it's over, it's a failure. If you roll an 18, it's a critical fail. If you roll a three, it's a critical success. Um, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. The one thing that I like about this system, it's, it's very scalable and you can have as much crunch as you want. You can make it really realistic or you can take all of that out and just do, uh, you know, very basic GURPS light kind of stuff. Um, the other thing is that the books that GURPS puts out, um, they have tons of world books, tons of their third and fourth edition books that are written by, you know, usually PhD, you know, PhD holders in that particular uh, subject. So they're really good books for reference. Um, so even if you don't play GURPS, uh, you can still use a lot of their stuff. Fun fact, a lot of people don't know this, but the original Fallout games were based off of GURPS. But due to the licensing issue, uh, Steve Jackson Games wasn't comfortable with the amount of violence in them, and so they pulled them, so they made their own special system, which is almost exactly like GURPS. Right, system, right. Except uses the percentile versus... Which, the, uh, is, which is kind of funny that, that because GURPS is very deadly. Even if you've got characters that are heroes, mm -hmm. uh, you get hit twice, you're down. There's not, there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, okay, so uh, you guys start looking around, and, and sure enough, you, you find what looks to be uh, a drag marks uh, from where you found the big piece of clothing. <laughs> Um, what do you guys want to do? Mm. Um, no, go for it. Okay. I was just going to pull out my switchblade knife. Not flick it, but just kind of palm it. Okay. Uh, and I was actually going to roll for danger sense. Okay. Because I can do that. Yes, you can. Wait, are you secretly Peter Parker? Maybe. Yeah. I'm not, not Peter Parker. <laughs> uh, in this case, I am not Peter Parker. Because <laughs> uh, that is a 14 and I needed a 12. Yeah. Mm. Spider Sense, no. If only you had some re rolls or something to help with that. Re rolls nice. are always wonderful. Yeah. They help the players. Um, and sometimes the GM. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. here, I have a question, actually. Uh -huh. So I have area knowledge for Sunny Ridge. Can I, do I know if there are any kind of wild predators around here that will be capable of taking That's them That's a good down? question. Give me a roll against your area knowledge. Okay. Killing it. Nice. So that's eight, and that's definitely under. Um, there are say, some, like, you know, um, there are, sometimes there are wolverines that's probably the baddest thing that comes around they're you know those are pretty bad. Those they, are pretty they all bad. call you bub they all call you bub <laughs> uh, they, who they, am i but where that's, did that come from 
the, no one's seen one around like this area in a, a long time. That was probably the most vicious thing, but there aren't any like big cats or like mountain lions or bears. a wolf. Yeah. Bears. Uh, no, no wolves. Just me. <laughs> but every <laughs> once in a while, you know, you guys, uh, every once in a while, there, there can be like stray dogs or something mm -hmm. that, that can be pretty vicious, mm -hmm. you know. Can I roll my danger sense? Sure. Uh, yes, okay. 10 under my 15. All right. So um, if something pops up, I will let you know before it pops up. Okay. Okay. At least for this little section. So as you guys are following these marks, okay, cool. Uh, gymnast. Oh, gymnast. Gymnast. Uh, just resub. Thank you very much for that. And uh, Thank you. Michael, you're getting a reroll. Yay. Nice. Okay, cool. So uh, you're following these drag marks down the river, and uh, they come to a stop near near a bush. Um, and. You, uh, you kind of see them move a little bit and you get a tingling on your back of your neck that something's not right. Guys, we should be careful. I see that bush is moving. You're probably right. Eric, why don't you check it out? I want to use uh, Intimidate to force him to do it. Well, <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, nice. Eight, nine. Intimidate is going to be 11, so yeah. Yeah, you should be fine. Uh, uh, Okay, f but it's really creepy. I don't want to go over there. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Jerk. And starts walking over. And he goes around the bush. And he, he goes, oh my God. And he goes, and he bends over a little bit. And he goes, ah, oh no. Ah, ah. And he starts to shake. And then he like, it's like he gets put, pulled behind the bush. And then he's quiet. Okay, this isn't funny. Eric, quit goofing around back Come there. Come on, Eric. You're being silly. Eric? Hey, that's a pretty good one, pal, but you can come out now, right? I said come out, and I'm going to start to charge forward a little bit. Okay, so you but charge actually forward. Go into the bush. Okay. <laughs> hey! You charge forward, and uh, there's no movement. Now remember, the, it's, it's, the sun is going down at this point, so it's, it's starting to get pretty dark out here if you've ever, you know, you guys have been out in the woods before, it gets dark real quick. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? I, I put the flashlight in there. In the little thing? Yeah. Eric pops up and goes, <laughs> I, I slug him real good. You <laughs> creep, <spaz. laughs> I got you. Uh, there's nothing behind there. Did you really think that you were fooling anyone? I thought it was fun. I don't Christian know about Linky. you. Thank you. Thanks, Christian hey, Linky. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what? Really? You're did, so you, did you also stupid. plan the, the jumpsuit as well? Has this all been a prank the whole time? No, it's not a prank. I, I. Well, how can we trust you now? I was just having fun. Gosh, come on. Let's not get hung up on it. Come it was on. just a. He pushed me to go behind there because he's too afraid to do it himself. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, is I there don't anything know. I think behind maybe he there, was right. maybe as long you as you're back there. Um, so you guys look behind there, and uh, there are footprints all around, mm -hmm. um, but they they look like almost brick shape. They're not like a foot, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, Why? what is this? That almost looks like a robot footprint. Uh. Robot. This again. What? But what would you call it? It's a big, like, brick shape in the have mud. Somebody with shoe boxes on their feet or something stupid. <sighs> I think it's a lot. Obviously, he's already being stupid about this whole thing. Hey, now I was just Acting having like... fun. God, you guys are too uptight. I swear, like squares or something. All right, uh, you get a reroll. Yay! Yeah, you get a reroll. All right. Me or Mac? You. Oh, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Groovy. All right. Crowd favorite today. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. Every day. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so thank you very much for the rerolls. Who's your G16? Yay. Um, so 
what do you guys want to do? Um, well, you seem to like daring an awful lot of people and pushing them around. Why don't you follow it ahead of us? You think I'm scared? Come on. I do because you seem you wanted to make me come. You made him want to go into, you know, forced him to go and check it out. Why don't you do something for once? You're right. You Watch talk this. a big game. I hand her the, uh, the lantern. And All I right. start heading off in the direction of the footprints okay, as best cool. I can. Uh, and I Who's scared now? <laughs> Tina, maybe you should head back to hauling gas and see if maybe <laughs> Officer Jones is there. He might want to check this out, I think. Oh, well, yeah. you're going to call the cops already? <laughs> Come on, this could be fun. Stop trying to stall. Follow the footprints. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so you follow the footprints. Are you, You're going by yourself, correct? Uh, well, we'll or is someone at a going? We're following. You distance. go first. At a yeah, no, I'll totally go first. He's been if the greaser game. gets eaten, run. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a while. <laughs> has <laughs> has <laughs> to get through all the leather. <laughs> right. Has to get through the leather. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like hair gel. Ugh. motor oil. Motor, motor oil. oil. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Probably. <laughs> Whatever. So. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. Smoke Chesterfields. Mmm. Yeah. They're yeah. good for you. <laughs> My breath's never been better. <laughs> <laughs> and now so the commercial before our commercial <laughs> break, um, we were watching you go a little bit further ahead of the group yeah. on the river uh, to look for these. You found these. Bo it looks like boxy imprints in the uh, ground. They don't look like shoes as much. Go wear boxes on their feet and tramp through the riverbank, right? No one would. It has to be a robot. It has to be a robot. Who's that guy with the spruce goose? Mechanical man. Hmm? Who's that guy with the spruce goose? Uh, um, I was going to say Howard Jones. Howard, 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 Howard Hughes. Hughes. Yeah. Oh, he was still sane at this point. Though. Yeah, oh, okay. He was not, he was not in, in Vegas yet with, with Kleenex boxes on his feet yet. That if, was later. <laughs> if somebody's pulling a prank, I mean... Eric already tried to get us over one after bringing us down here saying it was serious. Well, that was Greg. I didn't bring you guys down here. That just I just made a joke. That was it. Look, the lead, tough guy there walk ahead. I know. I already am. So you I'm guys follow. As I'm <laughs> so you, you're falling back a, a good distance, maybe like 10 yards or whatever. Far enough to get away if you get attacked by whatever horrible thing you think is coming up. And uh, so um, as, you're, as you're going now, usually for most of the kids, they take the main access road to where everybody parks at, at Makeout Point. Um, oh, I'm where, where, Yeah, where all you guys are. But there's a second road um, that's more of like this uh, utility road, uh, small, just beat up. You have to have a truck to be on it. And uh, you see some movement up by the road and a person moving around what looks to be the vehicle, like a, uh, um, and then you hear a door slam. Um, what do you want to do? I stop, I pull the cigarette and I light it. Okay. I want to see if I can make out who they are. Okay, they it's look a... familiar at all. Um, they don't look familiar, and because it's getting darker, you can't really make out their face. But the the truck is like this, like brand new 1952 Chevy. Like it's right. you know, it's it's nice, um, and it's one of the old like with the wood wood uh, backs on it and everything. And uh, they seem to have something piled up in the back of it with a tarp over it. And uh, what do you want to do? I turn back, and in my best stage whisper, I, I whisper back to these guys, Hey, there's a truck. Okay. I'm going to check it out. You do that. Okay. So um, I don't believe you have stealth or anything. I think one of you does. <laughs> I'm going to use my... Uh, yeah. It's not me. <laughs> I do. You don't have to use stealth. I'm just saying I don't think any of you do have stealth. Um, hey, 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 there. What's up? hey, man, welcome. Um, so, uh, for this, let's roll just get your decks. Uh, that is going to meet. Okay, so you're cool. Okay, so yes. you sneak up there very carefully, um, and uh, kind of looking around, and you see this. Uh, uh, 
piece of metal that is hanging over the side of the back of this thing, and this big tarp is tied down. Can I, can I use my mechanics check to see if I can identify what the piece of metal is? Sure. It's like a, you can uh, give it a try. Cool. Uh, that's going to be a seven, and my mechanics is probably pretty good. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Okay, so you're okay. Um, so you're looking at it, and it uh, kind of has the shape. It has like this one shape down here, and then the second like manipulator thing here, um, and then some kind of you know crease here. Kind of looks like a hand, in a way, but it, it's a it's up C clamp. Yeah, it's it's more of a clamp kind of thing. Do you want to get closer to the to the truck? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, what are you doing? He's totally going to die. <laughs> We're going to watch Jimmy die? Awesome. I mean, no. Let's be honest, it wouldn't be a waste. Lucy, how can that's terrible. That? That's so not nice. He's a jerk. We all know that. I'm, I'm going to go see what he's doing. So you're going to go up there? Yeah. All right, so as you're walking up, the truck turns on. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, he, uh, you can tell he's about to put it in gear, and you, you go up there, and you, you're running halfway up, mm -hmm. and you flip it up, and there's this, uh, this tubing that comes from this arm, and it looks like a hand, and it goes to a box with a cylinder on top that's empty uh, with a crack down the side of it. Um, and it makes no sense to you at all. And guy drives off as you're sitting there like this and you drop the tarp and you know that there's more in there. But then he just drives off. And you get up to him right as the car is disappearing around the, the corner. Memorize the license plate number. Okay, cool. <laughs> we'll run in the database when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> It'll only take six months to get back. <laughs> the information we're looking for. Oh, BSB Care gives the table a re-roll. Thank you, Yay. BSB Care. Thank you. All right. What, what did you see, Jimmy? I do my best to describe what it was without admitting that, that it was you, robots. OK. I'm in, I'm in complete denial about that. That's science right. fiction kid stuff. Wait, you, you saw what? Under the tarp? It's a C-clamp on a pipe with a box, you know. The cylinder on top to get a big crack in it, you know. New miles half. Gosh. Right. That's the kookiest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> well, we better get back to the gang, huh? Have you read <laughs> Lucy's stories? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Women writers, right? Ah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys go back to <laughs> the river and, you know, go home that night, all that good stuff that's pretty much scene cut right there. Um, the weekend, Sunday, uh, you guys have to, you know, go to your, you guys go to church, um, because you're supposed to, yep. mm -hmm. and, uh, you notice that there are a few, there's like three men in the background, uh, that you haven't seen before, and they're, um, you know, they're participating but they're not actually doing any singing or anything like that. And it's really odd because, you know, you guys don't get new people very often. Um, so after the service is done and everybody goes out, you see them kind of mill out the door. And sure enough, they cross the street and two of them jump into a Chevy and pull off. This is the name of the truck I saw? Yeah. I grab Lucy. Oh, that's the truck. That's the truck. I remember the license plate number. The one that you creeped up behind and found nothing interesting in? Cause... Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Gosh. I don't think well, I can... I was in the woods that night. I mean, maybe they know something. I don't think like I can... Like about the big blocky <laughs> footprints and the ripped suit and the absolute no story that we found. Well, it's only a no story if you don't investigate. I, I don't think I can run fast enough to catch up with the truck. Jimmy, get on your bike. We'll see if we can borrow one of our parents' cars, yeah. and we'll hear you from a mile away. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a plan. I'll be real sneaky. <laughs> 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 
of course you probably are driving being the, the Indian or something like that. Right. Yeah. Um, which if you had today would be worth a fortune. Yes. Yeah. All right. So um, you're going to follow him? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the third guy, two of them jumped in the truck. The third guy you notice stands near the sidewalk and he's kind of watching all of the, the people coming out and, and seems to be taking little notes. And, uh, you know, um, doing this. And you jump on your bike and you go. So give me just a drive roll because he's driving pretty fast. No, nope. I got okay. a 15. Well, all right. Do you, you want to re-roll? No, 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 no. Okay. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you follow him, you uh, you lose him. He he takes a couple of quick turns, it disappears, him. and uh, you, uh, you you know slow your bike down and you kind of stop in this alleyway. <sighs> it's not there. Mm -hmm. All right. Turn around and start heading back towards okay, the church. Cool. What do you guys want to do? What does this um, guy who's taking notes look like? He is about six foot, with a black, uh, with a black uh, fedora hat on, a black suit with an, a black overcoat, and uh, very good posture. He's definitely not from this town. No. <laughs> um, he may, be, wanna, from here. He may <laughs> be even from all the way from New York City or something. Or New York, York City. City. <laughs> New York City. Is he standing in front of the ice cream shop? Nope. Oh, what's he standing in front of? Well, you guys are at church, so you have the, the church is in the town square, which is right across is like the, the uh, park like the city park with the founder's statue in the center kind of thing, you know, the typical... Is this Springfield? Pretty close, yeah, yes. that kind of thing. Okay. It's like, walk me to the park. Okay. You might get some ideas, I don't know. Uh, so we're, we're walking to the park, All right. you know, and I want to glance over and see if I can see what he's writing down. He kind of goes, as you're walking by, he kind of goes like this, like he's visibly trying to... Make sure you don't see his notes. Uh huh. Um, and I just say, what's the name of the town? Sunny. Sunny, Sunny Ridge. Sunny Ridge. Yeah. Hi, I've never seen you in Sunny Ridge before. That is because we are new here. <laughs> oh, where are you from? New York. I thought I heard a New York accent. Well, well, yeah. welcome. Where are you staying? Around. Are you moving into town? I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm, I'm late for an appointment. Oh, okay. Well, see you around. Um, da. Okay, I'm gonna roll for gullibility. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, go for <laughs> it. See if I bought his cover. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you know, we don't get a lot of newcomers to town, but you can't be suspicious of everybody. <laughs> Clicks his heels uh, and walks away. I don't know. Away. He looks like <laughs> something out of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would definitely be very interesting to Lucy. Um, yeah, probably. Uh, can I take photos at kind of like I'm just sort of just scenery taking and try and get him in a sure, photo? Sure, but that's definitely, you'll have to roll for it. Okay, cool. So yeah, you snap a picture of him. Okay. Okay, cool. So you come back, um, and after after that, he like gets in a car, another black car, and drives off, right? And you guys get back. Um, I lost him. What? I They're too know. good. Where could they go? It's not like that pickup truck's especially, I don't know, nondescript. Well, it's not a very big town. It's weird to get anybody else here. Well, we do know where that road is, and it's daylight now. You want to go back to where we were the other night? The tracks may still be there. As long as we don't get caught there after dark, I think we'll be okay. I saw you talking to him. Did you get any information? Oh, they're just new to town, that's all. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> he had an accent and said he was from New York. 
Did it sound like a New York accent? What am I supposed to know what a New York accent sounds like? <laughs> and how many movies have you watched with me now? You only watch the ones with Rock Hudson anyway. I don't know what you see in that guy. Yeah, he's from California. Oh, you mean the fact that he's strong and handsome and oh, rich and all of that? Yeah, I can't he imagine what I see either. And not even married. Right. He's the perfect catch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we interrupted you. You were about to give away. No, no, okay. that was all good. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> we're here for role playing. So okay, I'm perfectly all right. okay with you guys talking. Um, okay, so uh, it's up to you if you want to either continue on to try to find where these guys are, or you can wait and start up with uh, school the next day. Uh, it's your choice. Um, because again, area knowledge. Okay. How many? I want to roll see if I know like how many actual hotels or places people could stay. Because right. I imagine there's probably hotels, but there would also be rooms for let in people's houses and things mm -hmm. like that. You don't even need to make a roll for that. Okay. You guys know the only inn that they have, which is right off the the highway, is Celebration Inn, which is nothing like Holiday Inn. <laughs> um, and that is Best Eastern. Yeah, it's Best Eastern. <laughs> uh, that is not very far from the highway, but it's you know like a couple of miles out from town. Um, I so, can I take my parents' car? Hmm? I say, could I uh, maybe have taken nice my parents' aid. car nice to aid. church? Nice hey, yeah, you, you could. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. That cylinder thing on the head, they probably need to get that repaired, right? Yeah. There isn't a lot of places in town they could buy something like that. Right. Do you know of any shops where they might sell something? We can ask around. There's I a... think I do. I think I do. <laughs> 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 okay, so... You're gonna look around for you. What does everybody want to do? How do you, do you want to break up the Scooby Party, or do you want to keep yourself together? Like, what's together. the plan? Yeah. Well, there's yeah, not we a lot of places together. they could stay either. There's really only one, and we could always go and ask around there. Yeah. I mean, I think finding some people that are doing things that they're not supposed to be doing in town is a lot more likely than robots. <laughs> you so would say that. Robots. They're saying they have broken pieces. Uh -huh. They gotta repair them, right? They'll just throw things away. I think Lucy's right. They use I think the if whole we go robot, to the hotel, not just part of the robot. We might be able to learn the next part of the story, and then maybe, just maybe, we can find out the mystery of this robot man. Uh huh. Maybe. Now we, yeah. <laughs> Swipe. Um, so who's going where? Well, we're sticking together, so I think the consensus is going to the well, hotel Well, we got to ask first. your parents for the car, though. Oh, no, I already have the car. Oh, they okay. trust me with the car. They're just going to walk home from here. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Well, anybody who wants to go can come. There's plenty of room in the car. I call so. back seat. <laughs> <laughs> All this room. <laughs> Woo! If you get in an accident, who cares? <laughs> the other person's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, where exactly are you heading then? To the motel? To the motel, yeah. Okay, to the inn? Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys drive out there, and it's a. Um, let's see. And, uh, you know, it's right on the edge of the, the highway, which really doesn't get that much. Uh, traffic and the the woods by the lake um, and the access road is not very far from here and you guys get there and sure enough the truck is sitting there in the parking lot as well as the tr car that the New York gentleman got into you know, a broken watch can be tw right twice a day are you calling me a broken watch all the time <laughs> wait ow okay <laughs> <laughs> Too many layers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to do? Is there, 
anybody around or does it look like or have they completely left the vehicles there they've left the vehicle like the vehicles are just parked but um there are a few other customers you know people staying at the end you see you know a couple of kids at the pool or whatever mm -hmm. we should try and get them out of the room so we can look around or if they're in their rooms you could look at the back seat of the car. I mean, you seem to think there was something in the truck bed the other night. The car's empty, right? Um, or the truck's empty? The, tr uh, the truck doesn't have a, a, yeah, it's empty in the back, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, mm -hmm. it's completely cleaned out. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the guy riding in it. Mm. Well, while they're here, it might be a great time to follow that access road. I mean, we could also ask around at the front desk when they checked in, where they're from, if they signed in with any names. Uh, Night Steed gives the table two rerolls. Thank, oh, Thank you. Thank you. Well, I messed up because I was giving rerolls. What's the plan? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, the desk clerk should desk, have right? some more yeah. information. Okay. Okay. You're the reporter. <sighs> yes, for this small town for now. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. So you guys walk into the front, and uh, there's Emma. Emma's been living here a long time, long time. Mm -hmm. Probably in her seventies. She's not always the nicest person to deal with. What can? What are you doing here? You, can leave, you can't use the pool. I tell you kids, every time, you can't use the pool unless you're renting a room. And you can't rent a room because I'm not running that kind of hotel. <laughs> what do you want? We're actually here following up on a story about what brings tourists here to our very small community. Oh, please. Yeah. No tourists want to come here. There's nothing here but the... I don't know. But it's we, terrible. Uh, we talked to some men earlier who said they were visiting from New York. Oh, yeah. Those gentlemen, they're so nice. When they, did they get here? It's so unusual for us to have visitors. Oh, it's their business, isn't it? Why are you so interested in those nice New Yorkers? Because she's a snoop. Um, I'm a journalist. Okay, Tim? And because we're trying to go ahead and get a leg up on the stories for the newspaper for our senior year, and we would like to do a story about tourism in this town. Ugh. Well, they're not really tourists. They say that they're they're here to move their families in. They said something about wanting to open up some shop or something. I didn't ask too many questions. New Yorkers' accents really bother my ears over time. So I just said, you know, go about your business. They paid all. They paid for a week. And why am I telling you brats this stuff? I don't need to tell you nothing. Now, do you guys want to do fast talk or something yes. like that? Uh, you can't do intimidate because she'll hit you. I with do the have fast. Talk. I don't know if anybody else. Yeah, why don't you give me, yeah, since I you're the one doing right. most of the talking. I got empathy. Empathy. Yikes. Yeah, I was here. Have a re-roll. <laughs> oh, the table, the table Oh, yeah, yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Have a re-roll. So we're going to re reshoot this scene. Go ahead. Uh, it matches. It matches. So that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so... You're going to trick her into say something yeah. important. Look, Emma, it's really for the betterment of this town because if you have more tourists coming here, then they're going to be here to come and use your motel, and then you'll be making more revenue, and then maybe even more nice foreign tourists will come here and come to your hotel and give you money. <sighs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Jeez, how much, how much sugar are they giving you kids these days? Well, I speaking, swear. Speaking of which, Emma, can I get a pop from the machine out Tim? back? Yes, you can. Thank go, you. Go ahead. Now there's one less of you for me to deal with. All right, so what do you want to know? When did they show up? Two nights ago. Two nights ago? Have you seen them coming and going a lot? You said they were looking for housing. They come and go. Uh, you know, no more than anyone else. I saw them at church this morning. Yeah, we saw them there too. Yeah, that's a good unusual. sign, right? Good oh, Christian people. Absolutely. Uh, how long did, they, did you say they were staying for? They paid for a week, but I think they're gonna be here longer. Have they been hauling any uh, big luggage in and out of their rooms? No, not that I've seen. I now, I'm going to cut it right here real quick just for a second okay. because he's going to get a Coke. All right. <laughs> so, um, Coke break. you walk out 
and uh, there's the, the brand new Coke machine um, there and uh, product placement. Mm -hmm. You go around the corner and Speaking it's the old up. typical mm -hmm. 50s motel mm -hmm. where you've got like the top tier and the bottom tier and the pool in the middle and everything's cement. Um, and there's, like I said, a couple of kids like in the pool and their parent is sitting there. Um, and uh, give me a, let's see. I know what I'm leaning towards, but let's see what you come up with. <laughs> oh, you. Well, <laughs> I am going to roll your danger sense. Oh, okay. So that, because if you make it, then... Danger sense. I'm re-rolling that. Because <laughs> that is definitely not it. Ooh. Oh, I got a critical failure. I can't wait to see what happens. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to save that other re-roll, though. Okay. Dice wonderful. roll of the beast. Yeah. <laughs> so, you walk up and you're looking around, and you think you see a, a flutter of the curtains at one of the top uh, rooms, mm. and you start to put your you know, well-earned well earned 25 cents into the, the machine or however wow. much. See, it would be, be a really nickel. Yeah. Or 10. It'd be a nickel. A nickel. <laughs> yes, inflation sucks. <laughs> um, Quarter for a soda pop. No one would ever pay that much. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sitting there and you're, you're like looking around. You're feeling kind of a little uneasy, but nothing, nothing major. And you uh, start to turn to go back towards the uh, office, and right there in front of, sorry guys, right there in front of you is the man from the church. He goes, "Are you spying on me?" <laughs> Why are you here? I wanted to get a soda pop. You're one of the... You were the boy with the girl that was asking all the questions, weren't you? Uh... Yeah? Can I ask you a favor? Certainly. And he pulls out a... Uh, one of the... Uh, measuring tape mm -hmm. it says I just need to see something I'm opening a haberdashery in the city and I need to know how big your head is I just want to see what the, the kids in the area are. <laughs> hold it together <laughs> oh, okay so puts the thing around your head thank you you've been very cooperative oh. and then he walks off and makes a note in his book. <laughs> I, I kind of stumble over myself because I am clumsy, or I'm a klutz, uh, and make a hell of a noise getting back to the office and kind of slam the door open and the bell jingles. And Anyway, yes, that's where I come back in. <laughs> okay. If, if that's where you want me to go. Yeah, absolutely. Again. No, no, do what you're going to do. Golly gee, Tim, you look white. Sure. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Oh, uh, Didn't you get your coke? Yeah. Tim, I'm what? shaking and it's just foaming off the top. Yeah. New York City. We should get you some air. Uh huh. You guys walk out. Turn Thanks, Emma. No problem. So yeah, I cop a squat on the curb and I'm drinking my soda and kind of <laughs> taking a catch my breath. So the man from the park uh -huh. asked me how big my head was and why I was asking so many questions. That's a weird thing to ask. He just came up and asked you how big your head was? Well, no, he said he wanted to open a haberdashery. <laughs> That's a hat shop to you, Jimmy. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I was lost for a minute, but I appreciate it. <laughs> but I tell you, gang, there was something about him that just wasn't right. No one measures my friend's head. <laughs> we get up and in a huff, I'm gonna start heading towards That's awful strange. the car. Okay. Oh, you're heading towards the their car? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and no one calls it haberdasheries anymore. I know. Especially not if they want to market to the not kids. England. Right? 
<laughs> okay, so you head up to the car, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, there are the all truck. of these. Uh, there are all of these Crook. fast mm. food, um, or, or just like wrappers and stuff like they've been eating in their car a lot, um, and uh, you know, at the time. Obviously, it's not like McDonald's or anything like that because they hadn't come out this far. But it's just like food wrappers and things like that. So they've been, looks like they've been eating in their car a lot and things okay. like that, cups and everything. Can I make a guesstimation that they're probably in the room across from the uh, where their car is parked? Um, you would have to get like go in the little cul-de-sac and do a little, because there's no assigned parking, so that wouldn't really give you a, a hint on where they were at. Lucy, come with me. I'm gonna go in there. I wanna look around. Where do you think they're staying? In one of these rooms. <laughs> Can I make an observation check to see like where? Sure. That's gonna be a ten on the nose, which uh, is under if I want. Okay. So you're looking around, um, and you see one of the things on one of the rooms on top the the curtain flutters a little bit uh, but all the other it's all the other curtains are closed uh, so you wonder if you're being watched or not I'm rolling intuition okay so intuition allows me to guess correctly if I roll under a 14 okay correct? yeah okay so eeny, meeny, miny, <laughs> mo. Mo. Uh, yeah, you get you get the feeling that it's it's not that one that the the window's moving, but it's two doors down where there's no room ne like there's a room and then no room next to gotcha. it. Mm -hmm. So there's like a dead space, and you figure that's probably where they're at because they would want nobody next to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one. Okay, I, go get him, Jimmy. I, I go up the stairs or wherever to get to the room. I, I... Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? I'm gonna tell them what for. They don't measure my friend's head and think they can get away with it. Do you really think this is a good idea? Of course. Uh, what? Maybe there's a better way of doing this. What, what's, what's your idea? What's your plan? Maybe we can find a way to get them out of the room and investigate rather than having them know what all of us look like and measuring all of our heads since that seems to be a problem for you. I don't want them measuring my head. Well, they already know what we look like. Yeah. But they don't know what you look like. No. Let them know there's a message at the front desk for all of them. And we'll hide. Well, I guess it's the best plan we have. That or I can knock. Don't do that. Well, all right then. Let's hide around the corner so yes. when they leave, we can sneak in. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> let's see, one second. I'm not understanding that. I, yeah, is it like supposed to be like a Universal Studios thing? Do Dr. Pepper brought to you by attacking Summer. sharks. Pick your pepper. Sure. <laughs> Official drink of people being currently eaten by sharks. <laughs> it works just fine. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> sharks actually hate the taste of peppers, so you know. Well, actually, you finish the Dr. Pepper and then you hit him on the nose with a can because that's supposed to be good. You punch the shark and the nose is supposed to let go. Well, yeah. then you shoot it and it explodes, right? <laughs> yeah. Smile, you son of a... Smile. Oh, well, maybe he holds the pressurized Dr. Pepper can and then you, you shoot go. him and there he, you go. he okay. enjoys the Dr. Pepper so much he goes away. Maybe. I like that twist. I like I that's, twist. that's a good twist. Mm -hmm. What a twist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the other brand. We yeah, I we like that it is limited edition, though. All right, so um, you're going to go up to the front of... Okay, pick your pepper. And what are you going to tell Emma to say? Like, what's the plan here? Oh, I, Emma's not going to say anything. It would just be trying to get them out of the room and saying that they have a message down at okay. the front desk. Okay. Um, so how would you do that? Well, first I'd knock on the door. Oh, so the, so you are going to knock, not him, and you're no, going to no, wait. Yeah. Uh, if there's someone that has a little more decorum in this party, it is going to be you. It's not him. And you guys snuck around <laughs> the corner. <laughs> All right, cool. And they know ten, what, ten. what they look like. So. Right. So, uh, so, Das? There's a 
message for you downstairs in the lobby. Ah, uh, there is? Yeah, I was just visiting with Emma, and she asked if I would come up and help her out. I mean, she's so busy running this motel. Slowly, the door creaks open. It goes, uh, looks out. Oh, are you one of the students here? Do you go to school here, or are you a tourist? I am also a tourist. I don't recognize your accent. Oh, uh, I'm from New York. Oh, how exotic. Mm -hmm. how exotic. So you say there's a, a message for me. Yes. Because, uh, okay, I will, uh, I will go there. Yeah. He shuts the door, um, and he walks out, and looks at you, and then looks, walks down. Where do you go? Do you stand there by the door, or do you...? I just stand there, and, you know, I uh, take out my uh, compact, you know, just uh, decide I'm just going to touch up my lipstick. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> so you're touching up your lipstick. Uh, he goes downstairs. What do you guys do? I'm actually, I'm going to use the compact uh -huh. to turn my back to him and kind of just... Watch him. Watch where he's going. Yeah. Make sure he's gone. Yeah. Before, like, alerting the others, like... Okay, so you hear this sound. All right. <laughs> Go and I immediately grab the handle and try and force the door open. Okay. He, uh, uh, he didn't lock it, so... Because it's 1953. Of course. And he opened the door. Um, you better be quick. And uh, are you going by yourself or all three of you? Oh, well, I'm not going to stay out here by myself. All right, cool. So you guys... Uh, split up and investigate faster. I wouldn't keep watch. So you guys go in, and uh, there's all of these pieces of metal and stuff kind of strewn throughout this hotel room, and uh, this weird smell you've never smelled before. And you hear some kind of saw sound coming from the bathroom which doesn't go at all with this. Um, <laughs> They've got many ashtrays of birds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, idyllic sound of birds sawing. Birds. Bird, is that all the song birds? That's awful. No, birds doing the song. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tiny construction. Yeah. Tiny construction birds? They're whistling all the work, yes. That's adorable, I want to see them now. They're hard hats. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... What do you guys want to do? Terrible burly construction well, birds hitting on other birds look that are around. By. Yeah, I want to maybe. And it's a hotel room, so it's not very big. Right. I'm fascinated by these pieces of metal that are strewn about, because that's damned uncommon. Uh, can I roll my danger sense? There's no need for that kind of. Light. Yeah, you don't need to roll Sorry. danger sense. You feel pretty like it's you're just been an extraordinary day. In, in danger. You're in danger. I'm gonna creep towards the bathroom. Um. Okay. Yeah. All right, one sec. <laughs> um, so you start going towards the bathroom? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, so you start creeping up towards the bathroom, and you guys are looking around at all these weird uh, uh, pieces of metal and tubing and everything else. And, uh, it looks like what it looks like you find some of the you know that they look like robot pieces mm -hmm. and you know and you hear this horrible sound coming from the bathroom and it's just open askew just just a touch guys what are you seeing i think they're building a mechanical man in here guys who aren't tim what are sure you seeing it costs a lot more than 14 dollars right <laughs> Jimmy's going towards the bathroom. I, I don't know. Jimmy, what's going on? It's a bad time to use the bathroom. I peer into the crack. Okay. Um, so you <laughs> peer into the crack. And it peers back. <gasps> and it peers oh, no. back. <laughs> Here you go. Xenar Faith. Hey, um, Xenar. Oh, hey, thank you. Hey, um, thank you. So you look in and you see two really large men with these bone saws and they're blocking the, the tub and uh, you see what looks to be, they're, they're like one of them's working on the one side and the other's working on the other side. And then you see a hand go like this up and it grabs the curtain and pulls it down. 
Give me a fright check. So <laughs> you're rolling against your will. Ooh. 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 I'm going to use one of them uh, to be rolls. Okay. That's what we're saving them for. That was a waste. <laughs> That's an 11. My will's a 10. Oh. I'll watch it by one. All right. You flip out and run the other way. <laughs> Trip over McCann and just what? run past Get everyone. Back. So he runs out, hits the door, it flies open. You see the other New York man coming up the, coming out of the, the coming out we of the. We gotta run. Uh, yeah. I beat it, gang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go towards the New York man because they're obviously trying to get out. Okay. And just like see him and just like flip around like. Oh hey! Did you get the message? There was no, there's, there's no message. Oh, what oh did, I'm so sorry. Why is Emma, my door open? Emma's old. Sometimes to, she gets. What's, tell me about New York. What? what? Did you go in my room? Where's all these kids? Why would I go in? The, why would I go in your room? <sighs> Walks up the the thing and goes by you really quickly. Do you run? No. Okay. Uh, you guys. I, mm. I, I kind of just shrug and then walk away like uh, nothing has happened. Okay. There's like on the other side of the road, is there like forest, forestation or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I run towards that. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can hide in the, the forest shrubbery. real quick. The shrubbery. Kind of do that kind of like walking, like, and then if I get further, it's like that kind of run, walk, <laughs> yeah. like trying to catch up to them to find out what happened. Okay. <laughs> so you guys catch up with each other. <sighs> what happened? <sighs> Jimmy, what did you see? I, I pull out my uh, pack of and I just start smoking like crazy. And I, off from you guys. You're right. I, I think they have a, a. Use your words. A robot in there. I told you! We said so. This metal hand shot up and grabbed the curtains and ripped them down. These two guys were doing something to it. Something's not right in there. Oh, jeez. I don't know what to do. I mean, if we call the cops. The New York men could say we were stupid and we'd get in trouble for that. Yeah. But, but, there's a... but if we crack the case and there is actually cause and they go in there, we're the heroes that we thought we might be last night. And you know what? I have a photo of one of the guys that we could take to the police. Okay. So you want to go to the police, get the film developed and go to the police? It's a systematic. Yeah, so it actually, oh, would, yeah, they, I, I, I would forgot, actually yeah. have it yeah. printed out. So. And you memorized the license plate number. I sure did. <laughs> Let's hope the cops are going to believe my word. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jimmy. We'll maybe maybe, let, believe maybe you, Jimmy. let us talk. To the right cops. then, you guys realize that it's almost lunchtime. And I'm if you're hungry. not at home <laughs> when it's lunchtime, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, Lucy, can we get a ride back into town with you? No, you have to walk. Zenar Faith like gave, you gives walk. you guys I'm one reroll for the Thank table. You, Thank you, Zenar. All right. Uh, Thank you, Zenar. So, are you gonna possibly get in trouble, or are you gonna go to the cops? Let's go home. I think my parents are used to me doing what I want, and I think the rest of you should be able to put up with your parents for something this big. They will be so proud of you if we manage to crack something like this. I don't think mine are gonna care. I don't know. My mom. Your parents might be really proud if we are able to crack this. I don't know. You've never met my mom when she's cross. Well, I say we go and we have lunch. I don't think the cops are going to believe us anyway. Well, the cops got to eat lunch too, right? True. The station is closed for an hour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go home. Do you tell your parents at all? Like you're in separate. Obviously, you're you're mm -hmm. all separated. Mm -hmm. um, so you're just quietly eating your food, looking at the clock, <laughs> very swiftly. <laughs> you got one more year. One more year. That's all you have to get through. And then you're done, and you've got your education, and then you can go into the military. It's the way that we've planned it. Just don't drop out, or you're going to be on the front line, and they're always the first to die. What about what I want? What you want doesn't matter. I'm trying to set you up with a future. Look, if you go to if you go off to war at some point and you learn how to be an actual man instead of pretending, <laughs> then you can have kids and a nice family and everything works out well. Instead of this constant motorcycle 
loud music. I I don't know what to tell you, but you got one more year. Don't fail out. I'm, I'm gritting my teeth. May I be excused? <laughs> what are you going to go do? It's a Sunday. Why don't you spend time with your mother? She worries about you. You know that? They need me down at the shop. It's Fine. Get party. out of here. Just don't. You've got one year until you're out of this house. I'm telling me. <laughs> a special episode of GURPS. <laughs> um, have a plan, kids. <laughs> have a plan. So, <laughs> oh, um, so you're sitting there mm -hmm. eating your food. Um, Lucy, mm -hmm. are you ready for tomorrow? It's your first day at school. I, I, I talked with your teacher today at church, and I have all the things all the pencils and things for you to go. Um, are you excited? It's senior year. Well, I mean, yeah, and then I, I just, I really want the journalism to work out and the cheerleading and, uh, you know I still want to move to Los Angeles, right? Oh. Lucy, why Los Angeles? It's so, so dangerous out there. There's car shootings, there's crooked police. It's a terrible place. I mean, you know that I want more than uh, this small provincial town. Well, you could, you could, <laughs> Sorry, you, could, you, could move to, you could move up to, I don't know, Chicago. It's a nice Rob place. Rob Hudson doesn't live in Chicago, okay, Mom? Listen, I, I, this obsession with Rock Hudson really, really bothers me. I mean, can't you realize there's other men out there that are and more in LA. <sighs> I'm sure if there are other ones out there, they're also in LA. Well, we'll talk about this later. Uh, you know, if there's an affordable school out there, maybe. But your dad's already working uh, double time at the plant, so I don't know if we're going to be able to afford Los Angeles. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, your dad is just as nerdy as you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, what you doing today? You were gone all morning. Oh, you know, we just went on a joyride, me and, and Betty and, and Lucy and, uh, you know, Jimmy. You know, Jimmy? What? Well, that yeah. Jimmy Wake kid? Well, he's, you know, he's not so bad once you get to know him. Uh, uh, we, uh, that kid's a bruiser. I wouldn't want to, I, I, you got to be careful around that kid. I'm sure he drinks. Uh, you know, I'm sure he's just misunderstood. <laughs> I bet you at the end of the day, we'd all be surprised to find out that Jimmy had a heart of gold. <laughs> it's actually copper. <laughs> uh, and we'd be really surprised. Oh, I, well, I think I might go hang out with the gang again, and then, you know, I know school starts tomorrow, so I want to be in bed before too late. Uh, okay, look, but, d I want you back here by the time the street lights go on. All right? Dad! I know, I know, you're 17, you're getting older, but you know, I just worry about you and that, that Jimmy Wake kid, and you keep those two girls away from him too. He is not the kind of person they should be around, okay? I don't, I don't know, Dad. The more I'm around, it seems that girls just like the bad boys and not the smart ones. That's not true, or you wouldn't be here. Now. <laughs> Your neck beard is coming in nicely. Thank you. <laughs> so, um... Uh, so you're uh, you're eating, and uh, your sister is next to you, and she's fourteen. Where are you? Or twelve? A little younger. She goes. Uh, where were you today? You left church quite quickly. I saw you with that that Tadwell boy or whoever. Well. My friends and I, we went and we decided to go for a drive because it was a Sunday and it was so nice and it was so pretty. And so we went driving and um, we went around and we went and we visited Miss Emma at the motel because, you know, sometimes we like to go get a pop there every once in a while. You were then, not there. I was over there. After church, mom let me go over to the soda shop and you weren't there. I didn't say the soda shop. Where did you go? I said Miss Emma's motel because she I has a nice ice cold soda machine. It's ice cold, Susie. Would you two shut up in there? I'm trying to watch the television. Sorry, Dad. Jeez. I have to go back to work tomorrow. Give me a beer. Okay, Dad. Okay. Um, so <laughs> as I'm leaving the room. <laughs> lunch, lunch is done, and you guys each run from your parents. Um, 
where do you meet up? Do you meet up in front of the police station with your photo, or what do you do? Oh, yeah, did you? Okay, because it's enzymatic. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd probably go ahead and take the car again. Okay, yeah, yeah. They, they don't care. They don't seem to care. Yeah. I'm sure, it's a smaller town. I could probably just drive by. <laughs> yeah. like, hey, I'm not here. Yeah, well, I would imagine probably the place that most folks go back to would be like the soda shop. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. probably the first yeah. place I would go back and check for you guys. Okay. So you guys pick, you know, you guys get together. Um, uh, and which uh, you probably, let's say that you guys went to um, the Cold Cup ice cream parlor. Um, so you're there. It's a good good place for a summer, late summer, you know, snack. Ooh, I'm getting malted. Okay. Mm. So you guys get drinks and or ice cream or whatever, and you sit down. Uh, go ahead. And, booth. What do you guys want to talk about? I still think we should go to the cops. I mean, what are we actually going to do about it if there is something going on? Yeah, but do you think they're going to believe anything we say? Well, we I think they're going to check it out. I mean, this is a small town, and it is unusual to have. Here's your drinks, kids. By. Oh, thanks. It's Bob Kess owns the the parlor. Uh, thanks, Mr. Kess. Thank you, Mr. Kess. You guys are you, uh, you guys getting close to uh, school tomorrow. You ready to go back? <sighs> yes and no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, enjoy your your drinks and stuff. Thank Feels you. Sweeping. Anyway, so continue. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to do that? Do what? Didn't you learn any manners at home? What are you talking about? <laughs> right? <laughs> You're slurping a little loud. Oh, sorry. Do you take out a flask and. <laughs> okay. Little nip. Little nip in there. Oh, he's not looking in his as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this tastes like turpentine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may actually be. It may actually what be. reason would we have to lie to the cops, though? I'm just afraid we're going to get in trouble for snooping. Well, then what are we going to do? Otherwise, we'd get in trouble if we go after this on our own. We need more evidence. You got a picture of a guy in the woods. That and you were in Right room then, across the street, anything. you guys, because everything's around the city thing, the police station, you see the truck pull up to the police station. And one of the men gets out, and he walks into the police station. Scramble up. Thank you, Mr. Cass. See you uh, later, Mr. Bye, Cass. Bye, kids. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Where do you guys scramble to? Uh, so I'm imagining the police station probably has a set of stairs leading in with those. Uh, right, it's across the mm -hmm. way from where you're at. You yes. want to scramble to there? Yeah, well, tree to tree to. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, there. to sneak up. Okay. Um, so, All yeah. Four of us. You yes. guys kind All of. All behind in, one tree. <laughs> behind one tree, and you're looking. In a line. <laughs> you're going to scooby And about. You know, you wait a good like a 10, douches. 15 minutes, and the the New Yorker comes out with a, with a police <laughs> officer, and uh, he says, uh, "Don't worry, uh, we'll uh, we'll check with the kids' parents. They're they're nice kids. They just they probably they probably had some, you know, their imaginations got way with them. I understand. It's." They went into my room and looked around and and uh, and told me that there was a phone call and and uh, nothing's missing. But I I, I I I they need to be talked to. Yeah, we'll we'll talk to their parents. Don't worry. And you see him get in his truck and drive away. I told uh, you we were gonna uh, get in trouble for snooping. Yeah, because you got now. caught. But, just, but. <laughs> All right, we need more evidence then. They're not going to believe us. Well, where are we going to get evidence? We can't go back to the motel again. Did we leave those coveralls where we found them? I didn't take them home, so probably. Let's go back to make out point. I mean, the lake. I mean... We know what you mean, Tim. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me say Timmy. <laughs> In the so, car. <laughs> so, you guys... Drive back to the place, and the coveralls are gone. And there's even more footprints, but this time, they're all look like you know regular human footprints in a in a boot, and all of the 
brick-like footprints have disappeared. Well, now what? What in the Sam Hill is going on here? All right. We know they've got somebody, somebody or something in their room, right? We know they're not in there all the time. We need to get whatever that is and bring it to the cops. Are we going to try and break in? It's the only option I can think of. Hmm. I mean, we could go back and see if they've gone back to the motel. They might not be there yet. Yeah, we can give that a shot. I mean, if we hurry. Um, can I use area knowledge? What's up that old access road? Um, right. Just like, you don't need to make a roll. You know you've driven by it before. Just basic, like, the auxiliary power plant kind of stuff. And, okay. you know. Wait a second. Those coveralls had to belong to somebody, right? Mm-hmm. Unless they brought a fourth person from New York, it's probably someone local, right? Mm-hmm. So who's gone missing? Well, Who didn't we see a church? Coveralls, so they either have to be a mechanic or an electrician or... They work at the power plant. <gasps> <laughs> Do you want to go check out the power we plant? We need to check yeah, out that power plant. Yeah, we got to check out the power plant. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, that's the player talking about um, the character. <laughs> Do any of us have parents that work at the power plant where we Your would dad. know kind of what the general like uniform look would be there that we might um, be able to recall. I was going to say your dad. Okay. So you yeah, know. I think you mentioned you yeah. at the plant. So yeah. um, if I, you know, if she sits and thinks about it, did that jumpsuit look like one of the jumpsuits that they have as a standard Similar, thing to be there? Similar, not exact though. It would, it would, if, if someone wasn't paying attention, they could use it to pass. Mm. Mm. You guys, that's not exactly the kind of jumpsuit that they wear up at the plant. You know my dad works there, right? Right. That's not what they look like. Passable, maybe, but that's not what they look like. So maybe we're not looking for a dead guy. Maybe we're looking for an imposter. I guess it's possible. Hmm. What would they be doing? So if you want to review your clues right now, you've seen robot parts, mm -hmm. you saw a hand, yep. um, you saw a oh, basically Was it a robot suit. hand or a human hand? It was a human hand. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay. I thought it was yeah. a human hand. No, it was human. Because mm -hmm. a hand reached up and grabbed and pulled it down. Okay. You were just so scared. I was. <laughs> Understandably. I was, now, here's another fact for you to think about. It's getting, it's going to get late, and the cop is probably already through two of your houses telling them about the fact that you were snooping around the hotel. Oh, jeez. It's probably better if we don't go home then. What? If I started driving now, I can Says, get to L.A. by tomorrow morning. What, what are you talking about? We've got to clear our name. School starts tomorrow. I'm going to be so, gas. I'm going to be dead meat if I go back to the house and the cops have talked to my parents. Oh, if we jeez. She does have a point. If we go home, we'll just get grounded, and then we'll never solve anything. Good. It's settled. So, we so don't we're go going home. to L.A. No! no! We're investigating. <laughs> All right. Um, so I need a decision. Are you guys going to go to the hotel, or are you going to go home? I was thinking going, going to the electrical plant. Or the electrical yeah, plant. See, I was sorry. thinking going to the motel. OK. You guys can split up. If you want. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> but, no, I, I do feel like maybe we should go back to the hotel. You saw something there. We have a lead there. Maybe maybe we can beat them back to getting there, and we can find something in the room. You know that the windows can't be that secure on the back side of the building. But there's more than one of them. You know that whoever was doing those terrible things in the bathroom. Wait. They, but they, they took both cars to the police station. Right, we saw both of the cars, no, right? Or just the one? Truck. Just the truck. Was we it just the one? to draw them out, right? Hmm? Was it just the one car at the police station? Yes, it was just the oh, truck okay. and one person. Okay. So what if I beat the shit out of their car? They come out to chase me, and while they're doing that, you guys investigate. Even so, that's evidence. no guarantee it's gonna get all of them out. 
Too and if anybody sees you, you're going to get arrested. I was thinking that. Yeah. It causes a distraction. Do they have an actual fire, fire alarm system at that time? They, they Probably would've. not, but no, a lot of old it's a fire still. system. It's someone screaming, "Fire! Fire!" fire. <laughs> but out in the they middle of nowhere, one in a small city, <laughs> codes are lax. <laughs> um, so make a decision on what you guys want to do. What's the plan? I think we go back to the motel. Okay. All right, we're going to the motel. Motel. All right, All right cool. lead the way. So you guys drive over to the motel, and. Uh, the truck and the car are gone. This might be our chance, but I don't think, I don't know that we should go in the front door. I mean, this hotel has been here a really long time. I think maybe we could get in one of the back windows. Right. Me and Tim will uh, give you a boost. It's on the second floor, right? Right. Yeah. You guys could probably okay. find a ladder in, you know, because there's a whatever, the ladder where they clean Mm -hmm. right. and stuff so you guys find a ladder yeah, and you climb up really who's fun. going through the the door first or the window first okay so you jack open the window and get in and uh, uh, you notice that the first thing you notice is all of the pieces are are gone Jimmy okay. I'm going to go up the ladder after him and okay and Hoist climb in, in the window too all right I thought you said this room was full of stuff. It, it, it was. I mean, you, you saw in here earlier. No, she no, didn't, I didn't actually. I was keeping watch. What's going on up there? There's nothing in here. Come here. What? There's nothing up there. Climb, 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 climb. You said what you saw was in the bathroom. Yeah. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. <laughs> what the heck is I, I start going, like, yeah, looking just, underneath the beds and I go in the bathroom. Drawers. Everything is cleaned like perfectly and the bathroom has a brand new shower curtain around it and it smells of bleach this is spooky I know. and there's nothing we in we all know emma didn't clean this nothing in waste baskets <laughs> it has a very efficient cleaning as if someone with a keen eye for detail cleaned this out perhaps a chum <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they are described as a Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and real quick, just if you haven't, this is a B movie, and so the accent changes from German because the war ended just a few years ago, and Russian sometimes, and something in between. But because it's a low-budget movie, nothing ever stays exactly where it should. There's no script girl. There's no. Script, there's no good. Uh, there's no script person going. Wait a minute. You sound Dutch. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's perfectly clean. So whatever they've got, they've got it with them then. In uh, their truck. They well, if it's not here, I mean. <sighs> so we need to find where they are and get the cops there to investigate. But we have to find them, then go get the cops. Then. Well, maybe we can lead them to the cops or something. I don't know. But where would they have gone? I have a theory. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> what? Have Tums, if you need that. <laughs> it's like an idea, but smarter. All right, <laughs> gonna get a little high concept here. I have a ham radio at home that I used to talk to people all around Illinois and, and some of the outlying states. Now, I know everybody's frequency in that geographic area. If this mechanical man has some sort of radio transponder, I might be able to pick him up on that. I'm sorry, you you've lost me. What? Are you going to be able to get to it, though, if the cops have talked to your parents? I could try sneaking in through the window, but I couldn't take you all with me. We'd have to meet up somewhere a little later, and I could let you know what I found out. No offense, but you're not necessarily the most agile person to get into your own house. Even? He knows it better than us. That's what it said on my last report card. Not the most agile person. Can't get into his own house. Yeah. That's, <laughs> well, well, the gym teacher's a real jerk, so yeah. <laughs> you couldn't even break this into your own house if you tried. Break into his own house <laughs> if he tried. The trick is without getting caught. I'll do my best, but it's the only lead I've got. <laughs> do it. I'll go with you. Grab what you need. Hop on the back of my bike. We'll peel out. I don't know. It's pretty big. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Where are we going to meet you? Uh, hall gas. Hall and gas? Is it hall and gas or hall gas? Hall gas. Hall gas. Hall gas. Right. 
He's written it down H A L. Yeah. Yeah. You haul and stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just imagine your Hollow character gas. maybe. Mm. Right down the other kind of hall. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> just doesn't H-A-L-L. understand. Meanwhile, in the hall of gas. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, uh, you go to his place, and mm. now the street lights have come on. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. And uh, you see, you know, you can tell that your, your uh, mother is on the front porch. You can hear the swing. Go back and forth. The big tree, the big tree next to your room is there. Uh, you'll have to climb up it, uh-huh. get on the roof, and uh, sneak in. I'm sure all of this will go very well. Couldn't go any better. I'm gonna go with him. Couldn't to the tree go the any least. better. Um, this is why I tried to go with all the ones. All ones. All ones. Yeah, put my bike in neutral and kind of walk it as best I can. Okay, um, let me see. Now, as you're just about to, um, to get up onto the tree, one second. Suspense is terrible. <laughs> I hope it lasts. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Let's see, sorry, give me one second. Just make, uh, now I'm thinking about it, I'm sorry, I'm like, it's like don't torture yourself, Gomez. That's my job. <laughs> As you start, it starts to rain. Oh, jeez. It starts coming down hard, and you hear in the background the swing go a little bit faster <laughs> as agitation sets in deeper. I'm not really giving up that swing. So uh, give me a roll. All right, Are, am I doing dex or? Do you have climb at all? Nope. All right, so we're gonna do dex mm-hmm. and uh, see how this goes. Uh, you do have klutz, correct? I do have klutz, oh. yeah. All right, um, and I think that gives you, does it say what it It, it doesn't have a mechanical effect here. Okay. Uh, at least not on that side, sorry. All right, no problem. Um, take two seconds. All right, so. Boop, boop, boop. Hmm. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, basically, it doesn't have a mechanical effect. Um, make a dex roll. Once you make your dex roll, oh, okay. So you're going to make your dex roll. This is going to be today's dex roll. If you miss it, then you do something that makes just a loud sound. So it's not that you fall or anything, mm-hmm. but you just break a tree branch or drop your drop something or whatever. Damn erector set you were working on. Yeah, oh, what? Oh, what breaks the cat. Yeah, it breaks the cat. Yeah. So wow. give me a dex check. Uh, oh, ooh, that's a good check. Yeah, eight. I got an eight, and I needed a ten or a ten or under. So okay, cool. So you you climb up and you get to your window. And you, <laughs> right as he's doing that, you hear the, the, the chair, the swing stop as he's going into the window. You don't hear it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you get into your, your room, mm-hmm. and you can hear footsteps coming up the stairs. I, I, I kind of want to whisper to him, Tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> up here, up here, here over here. Oh, jeez. What do you want to do? You got to move quick. Yeah, uh, uh. Not yet. Uh, Jimmy, uh, I'm going to throw this down, but it's real heavy and it's real expensive, so don't drop it, okay? Yeah. All right. One, <laughs> two, three. So you throw it out into the, the, the rain. Uh huh. Uh, give me a dex check to catch it. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Tip roll. Right. <laughs> Just the one. Use other dice. Still since you're cursed. Ones, 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 ones. Three fresh ones. Ones, 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 ones. Ugh. Ones. Fourteen. Missed it by three. So you hear... Oh, oh, and this thing cracks, and, oh. and suddenly, 
Are you... Are, are you in there? Did you... What was that sound? Must have been a prowler, Mom. Good night. Tim, get, come to the door right this second. Uh, she opens the door. Yeah, it's on like half it's and half. What are you doing? Get in here right now. What kind of... And she walks over and she looks down and she sees him. Yeah. As the lightning flashes, she sees him down there with your broken radio. And she said, I told you I had a, a visit from the police today about you, about breaking into somebody's hotel room. And now but, you're, you know I, how much we paid for but, that radio? I, she slams the window door. And she, and all, yeah, exactly. You just hear muffled screaming, right? Um, and she says, you are grounded. After school, you come straight home. You are going to work an extra shift as a paper boy to pay back that piece. You are in so much trouble. You're lucky that your father is asleep right now because if he was awake, he'd be beating your butt right now. And what do you want to do? You're just hearing muffled yelling. Okay. I'm going to take my motorcycle and I'm going to walk it away as best I can. Do you leave the radio there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how much this is worth or care. <laughs> yeah. This is way too high concept for me anyways. Absolutely. All right. So swipe on that one. All right. Um, I'm what... not leaving you. I'm just hiding. Yeah. Um, so go back to you guys real quick. What, what, what did you want to do? Well, we were in the car and we were going to haul in gas. I imagine right. we were probably sitting You're in there. the car waiting, yeah, for, the waiting for the boys up to show up in the car with the rain. They've been gone a really long time. I know. Do you think they got caught? Probably. If you know Tim's mom, I she's knew. got ears like a <laughs> I knew I should like have gone bat. with. I, he's so clumsy, but he didn't want to listen. Yeah, so it's all Tim's fault. Uh, do you go back and meet them? No. I'm okay. gonna wait for <laughs> no. I'm gonna wait for the noise to die down at the house. Okay, so it dies he's down. He's done with the game. He just and the lights yeah. start to go off. <laughs> No, it no. takes a little while. I mean, it, it's like eight. I can't believe that eight. <laughs> okay. And uh, finally, all the lights go off. I want to climb the tree. Okay. Rap on his window. Come on, let's go. Uh, first, you need to make me a climb roll, no. which I don't know if you have climb or not. I One of you does. Do not. You do. Okay, yeah. <laughs> She's the only climber. You're the climber. Veronica Mars over here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Make a dex roll. Mm -hmm. Meats. Okay. Yay. <laughs> so, um, you climb up the tree and you knock on the door. Knock on the window. <laughs> the Do you, window your, door. Your window door. <laughs> did you uh, did you get undressed and in bed and all the whole nine yards? Do you have on your Well, I was changing my clothes because I was soaking wet. Yeah. Um, so I might be in like old tiny pajamas. Okay. Which at this point they wouldn't be old. Tiny. Well, yeah. yeah. Maybe just tiny. Pajamas. Contemporary tiny. pajamas. Actually, There's, for him, he's a dweeb. They might be they old might tiny be old pajamas. pajamas. <laughs> he might have like one of those nightgowns. Yeah, just a red onesie. <laughs> with a red flap. onesie. <laughs> All right. It's, it's a cold night of rain. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, up there, I'm, I'm grounded. Look, I want to, I want to find the New York man. I want to find the mechanical man, but my. Think about it. You're already grounded. What more can they do to you? More ground you? Um, and he gets this look on his face. And he turns around. And he starts rifling through a cardboard box that's really nondescript and starts throwing out metal bits, and then. There's a little bit from his Mechanical Man set okay. that is also like a little transistor radio. All right. So he turns it on and is quietly kind of fiddling with the dial to see if there's anything weird coming through, like, signal-wise. Mm. Okay. Uh, and I'll roll for that if you want. Sure. Okay, that's roll. electronics operation, All right. communications, or current affairs science and technology. Uh, do that, not do electronics. Okay. <laughs> Oh! Yep, I'll be rolling it. Ooh. He's determined. That was an expensive ham radio, damn it. Okay. All right. There we better. go. Thanks, Jemethis. Uh So it's really, you get a lot of static, but then uh, you hear this guy say, Yes, we, we found a way into the school. And then that's all you hear. Okay. And then it goes, Shh. Cool. All right. 
Let me put my jacket on and I'll be right out. Uh, you want to put more on? Don't tell me what to do. Oh, someone's got a spine. <laughs> <laughs> now, it is raining and you're on a roof trying to get down, mm -hmm. so give me another dex check. I'll keep the next. I'll keep the two. Um, nice, so you're fine. I think it's by this point down. we yeah. would have gone looking for them and would have yeah. been driving over to Tim's house okay. at this point. You, uh, as you're driving by, he's he's uh, coming down from the tree. What the heck are they doing? And you see this big hunk of metal in the the lawn oh. that looks that, like it. that was that was probably the thing they went to go get. I think so. Uh, so They're a little idiots. while later, you come out mm -hmm. and uh, climb down. Uh, give me a dex roll because it is raining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want a candy? Yeah. Nice, you're fine. Okay, good. So you uh, you get down and uh, uh, you guys all get in the car uh, and there's the school, I think. Did, did you have a, another radio? Yeah, for my mechanical man kit. Oh. It's supposed to be his voice box or something. I mean, I don't exactly know how it works just yet, but I know it transmits and receives radio signals. So if we keep fiddling with the frequency, we might be able to find out exactly where they are in the school. But we've got to be quiet. Well, I guess we can start driving over there and we get Suddenly, close. Suddenly, cop lights come on behind you. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Cheese it. The window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I roll it down. Lucy, Good evening. Yes. you know your mother. Oh, Tim, and your mother. Oh, Betty, and your father. Oh, Jimmy's here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the officer's name? Um, Pike. Okay. And uh, he goes. I've been getting calls every 20 minutes on where you all are. I was just dropping Now, I am off. very excited to find you all here. Obviously, you're dropping off Timmy to his home, which I will walk him up to. I will have my friend, my partner in the car. What was his name again? Uh, Pike. Pike. Officer Pike. He uh, goes, mm -hmm. Mr. Pike. Officer Pike. Use my yes, Jimmy. Oh, we yeah, good luck. We're meeting for a late night Bible session. Jimmy, you're a lion. You're lying. Let's see what the dice the dice are gonna agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick up though the the cause on that and try and like save for that? Or Probably no? not. They're not gonna believe that at this point. Um, he goes, look, look. We uh, we talked with the the nice gentleman who is, is trying very hard, who's not pressing charges, but we, we got information from Emma that you were at the, ho at our, at the end, snooping around for some reason. You, I, I'm in the rain, okay? I'm in the rain right now. So here's what's gonna happen. My partner is going to drive his car and watch you drop Betty off, and he's gonna watch you go home as well on your motorcycle. He's gonna check in on you, and then you're gonna go home and you're all going to have to deal with drive. consequences. What? Drive now. Go to the school. What? Drive. What? Don't, don't listen to him. No, I want to try and talk out of it first. Okay. Oh, I'm going to please let this work. Okay. Ooh, so this good. is definitely means your fast, fast talk. Time. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Look, Officer Pike, all we were trying to do is do some research for the school paper. It was really important, and I know that we were going to get extra credit. It's our last year here, and we're just, we've gotten to be such good friends, and we just, we got caught out in the rain, and we didn't do anything wrong, and I just don't understand why you're being so mean to us. <laughs> now, now, settle down. Look, you see, you've upset her. I mean, come on. I just, you guys look, have to go them, home. I'll get them home. I know it's raining, and we just wanted to be slow and careful Fine. You, I, I, I'll trust you. I'll trust that you're going to go home, because if I call and you're not there, you'll be in real trouble. Tim, I'm going to take you home right now. But let him stay for just another minute, please, because <coughs> it's just... Um, okay, because I rolled an 18. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you... I, don't cry. I'm like, I'm like, Kids will be... <laughs> Kids will be kids. I, it's just, he's just, he's been helping 
so much lately. Kids will be kids. Look, it's all right. It's all right. Just, just get just home. Settle down. If I get any more calls from your parents, and then he <laughs> walks over, your gets parents. in his car, and drives away. Well yeah. done, Lucy. That worked. I said I should drive to L.A. I know I'll make it big there someday. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the moment, drive us to the school. Go, go, go. Oh, All the kids good. So you guys uh, drive over to the school, <laughs> um, and. Uh, Uh, you park your car. Do you park your car in front of the school, or do mm. you like park it away? Okay. Is there like, is there any kind of incline going in down towards where the school is, where I could like turn off the lights and let the car kind of roll into the lot? Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay. We can say that's totally there. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the lights and roll it in the lot because I saw that in a movie once. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Starring so Rock Hudson. You, you let it, you let it <laughs> roll into in. the thing, and uh, you've got the lights off, and um, uh, you see, because it's a school where there's massive winters, uh, you you know it's like a, a one a two story building, and you see a few lights going on in a couple of the the upper windows. Um, well, how are you going to get in? It's completely lost. Use your radio. You thought that maybe you could hear something about maybe where they are in the school? Well, it's a big campus. I don't know. Let me see. You want me to roll for that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You hear um, this really weird sounding voice. Uh, and it's, it says, uh, what's taking so long? Why? What's taking you so long? I've been here too long. Finish. Now. Does the, and then it goes. Like, like how staticky was that transmission when it came through? Did it sound like they pretty were somewhere? static? Okay, so there was no way to tell if it was something that sounded like echoey, like maybe no. they were in a okay gym or bathroom or something. The one thing you do notice though is that near the front door. Um, there is the, um, wow, that was Wisconsin coming out. Um, <laughs> there is a um, mop bucket and a mop just laying a few feet away. Looks like uh, uh, Russ has just left stuff laying in front of the, Russ is the janitor, mm -hmm. um, uh, laying in front of the school, and you guys know that's not normal. Why, that's not like Russ. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Actually, we would still call him Mr. So-and-so. Yeah, you yeah. would. Mr. Russ to you. Mr. Russ. Yes, his name is Russ Russ. Russ it's Russ, very Russ, unfortunate. Russ, Russ. <laughs> the Milwaukee Russes. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys, how do you guys want to approach this? Very, very quietly. Okay. <laughs> I can probably get us into the school and pick the lock. Oh, okay, I mean, I What guess. about windows? The windows are pretty sealed up tight. But they, I mean, can we look in the windows? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like take a photo windows. in the yeah. window. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> the stuff that's going on is in the second story, oh, okay. so you can't get up to those. So if you want to get into the school, you're going to have to find some way in. Front door is right there. Is there anything that seems like it would be easier to get into? Higher up, something. you know, or, or something where we could get up and in rather than navigating a There's lower floor. There's usually a uh, usually a ladder um, in the back. Uh, it's hard to get to because they don't want kids getting up there. Mm -hmm. But with you guys yeah, working together, you guys could do it definitely. Just root, you know. I'm just worried they might hear us walking through the school. You know how much it echoes when. Everything's empty. Well, thankfully, it's raining tonight, so that should mask us a little bit. I don't know. Betty, you're pretty good at sneaking. What do you think? Well, gosh, I think I think it might be easier to go in the door than up over a ladder, to be honest. With all this rain, it'd be awful slippery. You have to pick the lock very, very quietly. No problem. <laughs> 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 what are you doing here? Uh, Mr. Russ. Is it? Is it Russ Russ? Russ? 
Why are you kids? School's tomorrow. This is my time. So you look drunk? Yeah, very. Uh, <laughs> Wait. So, sorry, Mr. Russ. We, we thought we'd get in and maybe do some decorating before the first day. What? You know, as a welcome that back does, to school. That school. makes no sense at all. Ugh. I've been working all day. Are you allowed to be drinking on school grounds, Mr. Russ? Of course he is. This man works very hard. Mm -hmm. I want to jump on this Picks up his I bucket. I know, but can you imagine how bad it would be if they heard about the fact that he's been drinking on campus? I don't care. Setting I've been a here bad 25 example years. for students. There's no students here. You're not supposed to be here. Do your parents know where you are? Yeah, you're absolutely right. You work way too hard. And Picks I, I up his bucket. Flask. Okay. <laughs> I don't want that. I've been drinking beer. This is the good <laughs> stuff. Ah, turpentine. Picks up his. What are What are you? Ah, I don't care. Stay away from that door. I, I know what kind of kid you are. So as he's walking away, you notice that he has the full key set of the entire school. I have filch. Give it a try. <laughs> he's pretty drunk. He'll probably not notice. Yep. Yep. Nice. Ten under my so you walk up and you just click off the thing. Ah, oh, stupid kids, barfing in all the toilets. It's terrible. I, I won't do that anymore. The things I've seen. And then he walks around the corner and disappears. Better in the places that he's been barfing. Gross. So you have a full. I come back to you guys. So, um, nice. just real Beautiful. quick, um, I wanted to thank chat for unlocking the first tier, which Ooh. is getting you guys Mutants. the full set of keys. Awesome. Yes. Thank, you. So yeah. thank you. Thank you very much for helping out with, uh, with them getting in. Uh, so they now don't have to pick every single lock in the entire school, which I was <laughs> totally going to make them do. Nice. Um, so All these points wasted. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just for the school, so it might come in handy somewhere else. All right, so um, uh, you guys have the keys. What do you guys want to do? Where do you go? We use the key yep. on the door. Right. And uh, Good plan. are you going to go up to, how are you going to approach this, though? Because, you know, these are big German, uh, big Russian guys. Big German Russian. Big German Russian. Russian. Euro something. <laughs> sure Russian. Foreigners. Sure Russian. <laughs> Not from here. Not from here. Yes. Um, they are them. We are, us. We are from New France. Yorkers. The New Yorkers. Yes. New Yorkers. So, how do you want to approach this? Quietly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you start walking down the hallways. Um, give, if you have stealth, give me a stealth roll. If you don't, I'm going to give you a negative two on your dex. Yeah. Yep, Let's check for traps. You're, ugh, that's a good roll. Uh, no. That's a really good roll. Mm -mm. Nope. I would normally be fine. Uh, normally I would be too. I'm off by one, and there's only one re-roll on the table. Do you want to re? You want to use it? Doesn't matter because oh, she you, takes it the nice. Then roll. yeah, that's true. Both of us are at bad times. You're both the worst. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> slippery <laughs> after being in the rain. You know how hard it is to sneak in boots? Yeah, really. So there's you guys so just we, make some large sound that echoes because the hallways are empty so it just echoes all the way down the hall <laughs> and who's talking and you hear you hear whispering and, and then you hear someone say mine and then they you know talk a little They're bit counting down and and <laughs> you start hearing footsteps from the upper classrooms to the to the lower hallway um, you guys want to duck into a hall, into yeah, a room. Into a oh, room yeah. or mm -hmm. closet? Yeah, definitely want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys duck in the hallway, shut the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay. <laughs> you hear. Do they sound like human feet or Abby normal feet? Abby normal. <laughs> and you hear a, a servo. And a light shine into the little cutout window. Okay, and uh, the door opens just slightly, and then closes a second later. I'm beginning to rethink. 
think the robot theory. Can you guys give me all a fright check? Yes. Uh, is that it's will? against your will. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Wow. Oof. Ooh. I've caught the frights. <laughs> yeah, I, it's I, funny that you're supposed to be like the big tough guy and you've, you've missed both of your roles so far. I have oh, no, a I, case I got my of first the frights one. as well. <laughs> the frights. I, I, you do me a fright. <laughs> yeah. You guys, uh, you guys, uh, you, you, you want to leave. You're, you're like, uh, you're shaky and, and stressed out. I really just thought it was about them being foreign and not about their hearts. <laughs> Foreigners I can handle. <laughs> Robots is straight out. <laughs> well, we're here. We've got to figure out what, what they're doing, right? I mean, but do we? So Bear Delta doesn't give me any perk to this whatsoever. Well, it's when you're doing something um, uh, dangerous, it gives yeah. you a, a bonus to your role. Yeah. Fighting crime in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. Cool. It's yeah, kind of a good thing. I have to go blind though, so. Yeah. <laughs> Chesterfields. Chesterfield. Soak enough Chesterfields if you go blind. So, That's a um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now with asbestos, um, uh, burns uh. longer. <laughs> mm. I don't see what any problem. Oh, my jaw. Um, I feel so insulated in my lungs. <laughs> So, <laughs> you guys are frightened. You want to leave. Yeah. Uh, what you, you hear the footsteps go away, yeah. uh, and uh, I'm rolling empathy to try and calm her down. All I right. Can just, I'll just go home and I'll go to LA and I'll meet Ryan. Mm. Lucy. I'll meet Lucy. Why are you so What is wrong with you? Stop. No, I stopped just short of actually smacking her, but I'm like, calm down. Why aren't you calming down? Calm down. <laughs> Because I botched it. Okay, one. he does that, and that's going to shake me out of it, and I smack him in the face. Okay. <laughs> I move over towards the window. I want to try and undo it. If they're like, you see the something. light come into the window? I come into the, the doorway? Mm -hmm. Door window. Yeah. The door window. The door window. And. Uh, Do they have those? The boxes, or is it at the one at the top? It's the one on. Oh, the latch is. It's the one on the top that swings open. Okay. So you, are you up there doing that? Oh no, I meant the one opposite the room is the one I'm gonna to go to. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, but you hear the footsteps and then the, the servo again of the light looking into the room. The drop. Okay. Um, just uh, make me a dex roll. To, to fall. Just. 10, I fall successfully. Okay, cool. <laughs> you don't hit a desk or anything. You don't make any noise. The door opens. You hear all these like clicking sounds and the light kind of washes over the desks. The door we're in? The room you're in, yeah. And you guys are hidden behind the teacher's desk and he's over in the other corner. Delete, delete. <laughs> and then you can't see anything because the, the light's really bright. And the door shuts again and you hear it walk off. So, somebody who is near can we window. hear which way it's going down the hall? Ah, uh, yes, you can. Okay. Somebody hoist me to the window. Okay. So you guys get up on the window? Yeah, I'm just gonna try and like. Oh well, you can. Okay, so just to explain, they're looking through the um, the door window, yeah. right? And so if you, um, it doesn't. It's actually in the door. I misunderstood what he was oh, saying. Okay. So it's close enough for you to look look out and kind of see. Oh, okay. Um, it's, uh, I, I thought he meant the other side because it's like the window. Got and it, the got thing. it, okay. Okay. Uh, so, but the, the door is not completely closed. You can just look out if you want, just like a, a touch. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek just a little bit. You see whatever it was way down at the end of the hall, going up, just, just barely catching a glimpse of it going upstairs. It looks relatively big. And then you hear some muttering, and then no more, you know, big noises. Yeah. My instinct wasn't, my instinctic wasn't so noisy. I would have tried to take a photo. I mean, if we could just get evidence, we could go back to the cops. I mean, what are we going to do against this? Well, but if we could get evidence, they'd well, have to believe us. My guess is if they're in any room, it's going to be the science lab. I think that's a pretty good guess, buddy. 
How long do you want to do you want to wait and see if they leave after a while or no. do you want to come back later maybe during the day when you're in school? <laughs> no. Nope. Cuz they're not going to leave any evidence. Right. If they cleaned up the hotel room, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this may be our only chance. Yeah. I mean, if we can at least get evidence, that's all we need and we can and then we can leave. If we can get if we can get a photo, I mean, they've got to believe that, right? They got to they just gotta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to sneak up and try to get a photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So you guys start walking down the hall, and this time I'm going to say that you smart enough to take off your shoes so that there's no squeaking or anything. Oh, you're yeah. holding your shoes. It's going to take me a while. You're going to, yeah. I'm going to tie, gonna tie the laces together so I can put, put them shoes over okay. my shoulder. Okay. Nice. And uh, you guys climb up the stairs. My saddle shoes. And there's uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and those are squeaky as all. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, yeah, they are. So you guys get up the stairs, and sure enough, the the science lab is there, and you see some lights going on. Um, and then, as you're getting to the top of the stairs, the 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 door opens. Now, the hallway is huge, and there are steps on both sides, right? Um, and one of the doors opens up, and the guy goes, oh, we, we, need to, we need to go to sleep. We'll, we'll come back in the morning and, uh, and fix everything. Uh, now that we have access here, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to, tomorrow. I think they're Irish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so they leave. And, and uh, um, they come out, there's, there's the three of them, they lock the door, um, and then they, they head down uh, the opposite way from where you're at, and you see them go down the steps. So we're like down on the steps? Yeah, so. you're down on the steps, and you watch them. Luckily, they go the, the other way. Perfect. All right, Betty, open well, the door, let's see what we're dealing with. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a window on that door? Yes. Let's look in the window first. Also, we'll go to plan. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you see uh, that there are all of these. Um, it looks relatively clean, except for one table has a bunch of uh, parts on it and uh, some what looks to be dishes. And then there's this tank in the corner that it has a bunch of water in it and there seems to be it's like it looks like an aquarium like a lot of bubbles going up but you can't really make it out because it's dark i think you're closer in there yeah i guess open the door okay. and i just like so you pick up keys. the camera i just yeah. kind of lift it so it's ready to take over <laughs> you, you you use your keys and the door opens up and uh uh, sure enough, like I said, there's the, where do you, what do you want to take pictures of? Well, I'm looking for the thing that seems the most like, oh my God, what the hell is that? <laughs> um, so you head over to the tank because you guys have never seen that in your school before. It's, it's a new thing. Um, and you walk up to it and there's this uh, set of eyes floating in the center of the tank. And there's this weird thing that's connected to it's not a brain but it's like this like veins going to this weird piece in the middle and uh, the eyes kind of follow you guys as you're getting closer can I, can I have a fright check <laughs> yeah you're squeamish too it's not gonna help <laughs> click just made it okay made it so you click a picture can I uh, give me fright checks uh, I do Ooh. me another fright. Yep. Okay. I too have the frights. <laughs> All right. I got the frights. Are you no, okay? I'm fine. All right. Um, so, uh, yeah, it freaks you guys out. You run. Mm -hmm. You f cl click your picture. You run. Mm -hmm. Do you, maybe maybe we should call the cops and tip them off that there's something going on in the school and they'll, they'll have to come and investigate because at the very at least they'll think that some kids are messing around here playing a prank and they'll come to investigate. Yes. I think there's, there's got to be a phone down in, in by like, with the, the principal's office. Yeah. Okay. So you guys go to the principal's office, you open it up with your keys, um, and uh, 
-hmm. you call the cops. Mm -hmm. And a few, you know, five, ten minutes later, cops show up. What are you doing in the school? How'd you get in the school? Oh, I mean, we were going to call and then, like, leave. Oh, are you going to yeah, run away? Gonna, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not staying around. around. Okay. I, want, right. I don't want to get in I apologize. Trouble. Well, we're already in trouble. So might as well double down. Well, no, I was thinking yeah. call and then try and go, then like, run. wait run. somewhere, wait for the, and watch for the cops to show up and investigate. And like, you know, call them, you know. There's something going on at the school, and we're here, and it's in the science lab, and there's a tank, and there's eyes, and you have to get down here and check it out right now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to roll to see if they recognize your voice at all, because you are frightened, <laughs> and you're not in your best Los Angeles actress mode right this second. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, ma'am. We'll, uh, we'll send a police car down right away. Are, are you sure? Why are you? Okay, we'll send someone down, <laughs> and you guys book it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, do you keep the keys with you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring there's going to be like some, you know, bushes or somewhere off oh, the yeah, side absolutely. of school where we can kind of watch. Okay. So you're watching, um, and just a few moments after the uh, uh, the call, uh, you notice that the the truck comes back and it parks, and you guys are a few feet away from it. And you hear one of them says, I can't believe you forgot that. Go up to the room and get it right now. No, I can't <laughs> let them do that. Whatever it is, like, I don't, it has to be there. What are we going to do? I mean, how are we going to stop them? Is there a rock or something? Yeah, the absolutely. All right, I grab the rock. I run up behind the bush. I'm like, hey, bagel eaters. And I throw the, the rock at their window. <laughs> Down? New Yorkers. New Yorkers. New Yorkers. New Yorkers. I'm picking up what you're laying down. Okay. Uh, so uh, just give me a brawling roll. That's good. Uh, I've got a 7 out of 13. Okay, cool. All right, so with combat, since we're in combat now. Hey. Yay. It goes by your, uh, your whoever goes first is, is your uh, basic speed. Um, so... You can do different maneuvers. We're not going to get too deep in the weeds, but I just want chat to know what combat is like. Um, so basic speed is your initiative. If you have a tie, I usually give ties to players. Uh, so um, that's how that goes. And then you can do moves. Just There's, there's similarities like all role-playing games. You have your all-out attack, which you get a bonus plus four if you're not going to defend, which is something you might be doing this time. Um, you can aim if you're firing a gun or something like that. Um, Where'd you get a gun? Exactly. <laughs> um, ready a weapon, that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's start. From what I remember about this, uh, you only have one dodge or parry, and if it's used, you no longer have that, right? For as your defense. Yeah, yeah. You can lose if, if two people are attacking you at the same time because combat rounds are broken up in seconds. Mm -hmm. So. It, it's, it's a lot, it can be a lot different in that case. All right, let me find my, oh, here it is. Color-coded, color-coded uh, things here. All right, so we're going to. There's a back to this paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Learn it's not, it's just, you got one because of the weapons and, and then everyone else has like their bra stuff on the back mm -hmm. at the top. All right, so you uh, you were successful, correct? Yeah. Okay, so you hit this guy full on. Ah! Um, I think if I think that's pretty close to. I might give you an extra like plus one because you have a rock. But what's your uh, what's your punch damage? It should be on the back sheet at the top. I got a rock. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be one die, so it's one one d six. One d six. <coughs> so five points. Mm -hmm. yep. So you hit this guy and he stumbles back. Schnell! I mean, go! Go! <laughs> and the truck, the guy who's driving the truck, peels out. And, and he turns and he tries to punch you. Wait, the guy driving the truck is going to drive and punch me? No, no, no. no. The, the guy, guy you hit the with a rock oh, okay. is going to try to punch you back. Why the other guy awesome. is... Pulling off. 
All right. going, driving back he's away from the with the truck. Yeah, he's yeah. backing up. Okay. You guys are in a bush about five yards away, not okay. far at all. Yeah. Um, I just need to distract him long enough for the cops to get Yeah, that was us. All right, he misses you. And then he's going to book, but you get to attack first if you want to try to hit him again with the rock. Oh, the rock I had thrown. Oh, you threw. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so you hit him with the rock. Mm-hmm. He turns around, he runs up, he tries to hit you, he misses. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm going to try and tackle him. Okay. Because he's going to answer for just, why he's measured my friend's head. Just give me a <laughs> brawl roll. You know, just go measure That's going to be uh, 12 out of 13. Okay. Woo. So, uh, you tackle him. The truck drives away. Um, and a moment later, you see the cops show up, and Pike gets out of his car. I'm sure, this looks great. Me on top of this dude, all bloody. Yeah. Walks in. What is going on? Uh, we were hiding out in the trees, right? Yeah, you guys. So yeah, he's, he's still, talking to him. Doesn't, right. okay. Pike doesn't know you guys are there. Okay. These guys have eyes and jars upstairs. What? Are Go you, look in the. Are you? Now. Have you been drinking? Don't answer that. I can smell it from here. <laughs> Give me the flask. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, fast time. Yeah, he's not, it's a good roll, but he's not going to believe you at this point. He's, look. <sighs> Why are you attacking Mr. Murphy? Murphy? Yes, this is your new science teacher. He's the one that came in and talked to us about you today. Oh my God, it's Halloween three. <laughs> <laughs> and he no. goes, he goes, <laughs> Sir, he just attacked me. I was doing some work in my classroom for tomorrow. I saw what you and your buddies were doing in that room. What you guys did to that other guy. No. Get off him right now. We're going to go. Put your hands behind your back. I'm putting you in the car. Put your hands behind your back now. Put you in the back seat. Helps Mr. And Murphy, yeah. I'm right. going to make a break for the school because... You are? What? Yeah. Try, okay. and, try and draw Pike towards the school because I have Daredevil and Acrobatics. I'm going to try and like bolt so he, <laughs> Do it. So he sees somebody running towards the school and he's like hopefully going to also like give chase and try and lead him towards... Okay. So you're hoping he won't notice that it's you. Okay. Just to lay this out. You're going to run. You're going to you're going to get a bonus for your daredevil. Um, you're going to hope that he doesn't put together that you are still with. I'm just hoping he's going to give chase at least to lead him back to that room or. Oh, saw to get stuff. him back to that room. Okay. Yeah, basically, it's it's less about getting caught and more just like you know, hopefully it's enough of a distraction that he's right. like, I got to stop this person getting in there. All right, so this go ahead kid and. Uh, this kid bolting. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, go ahead and get a roll. Okay. And that is going to make it for Daredevil, which was hmm. my Daredevil's really high. Okay. Well, you get a bonus for your Daredevil. Oh, you bonus get a, to yeah. oh, well, what's to whatever roll you get your you get oh. to that number to. Uh, are you using stealth or acrobatics or? Oh, um, I was going to use probably like acrobatics to so just like try okay. and like move through the trees and like really just rush towards what's the school. The, uh, what's your acrobatics roll? Uh, what's your acrobatics number? It's 13. So with Daredevil, you're going to get a plus one, I think, to your roll. Okay, no, so. You want to go down. I mean, yeah. So okay, minus so that would actually... Plus one to your ability is what I should have said. So. Mm-hmm. Got it, got it. Okay, so that would still make Fortune it target then. number. Yeah. Yeah, so 14 is the target, and then I'm coming in at... Uh, so you start to yeah. do all this um, and making enough noise for him to turn. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get him to that room and hopefully, like... Okay. So he goes... Uh, he, he sees you, um, and he, he runs out. He goes, oh, stop! And he starts doing this with his, his light, his, you know, and who's, who's there? Come here. And which one of you kids is, <sighs> it's been a hell of a night. <laughs> starts running after you. Okay. Um, so you get to the door, you unlock the door, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, Did we lock when we left though? No. Probably I think we not. just left. You think you yeah, just ran. Yeah. So you open the door 
Then you probably don't have the keys on you. She does. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we left stuff open because we ran. Okay. We wanted them to go there. All right. So he, he enters the, the, the high school. Do you run upstairs? Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, he, you can hear him walking around um, downstairs. And uh, he goes, where are you? I know you're here. I'm probably like just like how how where am I at at this point in relation? I would am I like you're upstairs on the second floor near the room? Okay, have I clear? Can I see into that room? Yes. Is everything still in there that we've seen before? Yeah, nobody went in there. I'm since. just gonna like um, take the door and just kind of like slam it into the wall a couple of times to make some noise that he's like. I'm trying to basically draw him up to see stuff in that room. I'm trying. I don't want to get in trouble, but I want him. To, <laughs> but I want him to get up and I want to be. I want him to see that that's there. And if it's still there, and I can verify it's still there, I want him to come and. All right. So he there. walks up and uh, uh, he goes. Uh, do you let him see you, or do you run off when he comes up to the top of the stairs? How do you get him into the room without getting caught? Is basically. Uh, the I mean, at this point, if if stuff is still in the room, there yes. is still a tank with creepy eyeballs. So yeah. if he walks in, he's going to see it. Okay. And I'm just in here. All right. And because I want him to see the thing that obviously is not just a science project. Okay. <laughs> so uh, he goes, walks over the door, goes. Looks at the tank. Yeah, it's a tank. What about it? With eyes? Walks over, looks at it. Look at it. This isn't normal. This isn't science class. Do you know what's not normal? Teenagers on a Sunday night out after dark. That's what's not normal. Look at it. I see it. Look, we'll get Mr. Murphy. I'm sure he'll explain what this is. I'd like to hear his explanation. I'm, I'm sure you would, but you're, you're awfully... Awfully uh, argumentative for a 17-year-old who needs to go to school tomorrow, and it is now literally 10 o'clock at night. Well, I'm not going to a class that has eyes and weird things floating in a tank that you want to end up in the same car with Jimmy. I mean, look, he's a bad apple. I get it. But Lucy, you could make something of yourself. You need to stay away from him. I know that. Look at what is right here. Are you not finding this strange at all? I really didn't. You go to this school when you were younger. Did you ever everybody see anything went to like this? this? School. Did no. you ever see anything like this? We will talk tell me what it is. Relax. We'll talk with Mr. Murphy. Come on, come downstairs. And you guys, you know, he takes you back downstairs to talk with Mr. Murphy. Yes. While they're up there, I want to try and pick the locks. Do okay. you have escape? I don't. I don't know if you give me lock line. picking. So. Lock picking. Okay, cool. So give me a roll. Meanwhile, what do we do? <laughs> Ten out of eleven. Okay. okay. So yeah, you click them open. All right. Is the can the car be open from the inside? Um, yes. In these older older cruisers, and they don't really they don't have instances where they put people in the back very often anyway. <laughs> okay, I open up and I just run off into the night. Okay, <laughs> the we'll get back car. to you later. Oh. <laughs> hey, there he goes. Oh, <laughs> we can't just leave Lucy here, we have to see what happens. I don't wanna, you know, draw the attention to you guys, because I'm sure, no, what's yeah. the guy's name, Mr. Murphy? Yeah. Is still standing there. Yeah. So and we need to just sit tight. And it's actually Ryan Murphy. So he's writing this all down so he can turn <laughs> Murphy, it into a... Murphy, the, 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 rush, the, the guy standing there, the New Yorker, kind of lets you just run, doesn't do, do anything. You guys c come down and Pike goes, you know, asks him about the eyes. He goes, oh, that was supposed to be a surprise for tomorrow. It's our first, it's our first science project that we're going to be working on. Come up, I'll show you what it is. Right, and he starts walking towards the school, and Pike looks at you and goes, "Come on, you wanted to know what it is. You couldn't wait till tomorrow when you were in school. Let's go see what the what the science project is, young lady. You're in so much trouble. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, Miss Murphy. Wait. Where's Jimmy? Oh, he broke his uh, he he uh, undid his handcuffs and ran away. What?" Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Murphy. I don't, I'm, these kids, I've had it. You, go home. 
now. I'm going to call in five minutes if you are not there. I don't want to hear any back talk. Just go now. Mr. Murphy, I'm really sorry. Let me give you a ride back to your uh, place. We'll drop you off. You know, are, do you, you don't want to press any charges. Well, that, that boy, he did hit me pretty hard. He's, he's got his problems. I'll, I'll talk to his dad. His dad will straighten him out. <laughs> He'll be fine. All right. The, I, I accept that. These, these kids will learn science tomorrow for sure. They'll love all the science they're going to get. So um, that basically ends that because there's no way you guys are going to get to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You guys yeah. are in so much hot water. When you get home, there's yelling, screaming. I drive to um, Los Angeles. Still not going home. Yeah. <laughs> you avoid home. You want to go to Los Angeles? <laughs> I fish my radio out of the yard first at least. Okay. And then knock on the front door. You knock on the front door? They don't know where you're gone, dude. Uh, I they... don't want to carry this back up that fucking tree. <laughs> down, you can to their... I'm grounded anyway. Yeah, I mean... you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah everybody is pretty screwed. <laughs> so, um, fast forward to the next morning in school. And uh, your teacher for your senior year is uh, Miss Derringer. She's a young teacher that just... Moved here not long ago, um, and uh, she comes in and you know she introduces herself, and you guys go through your normal day and get to lunch, and uh, the next class after lunch is science, and you're you're all eating and everybody's talking, rumors are starting to go around about the kids who broke into the place because it's a small town. And Pike has a kid here, and uh, Pike vote on cutting class. Yeah, I don't think I'm probably going to be at school. I'll be Are you around gonna... the school. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be at it. I okay. used to like science class. Now I'm just scared. I want to see that thing close up in the daylight. Why do they want to measure your head? I have a theory. <laughs> Cream <laughs> corn. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what's the plan? Do you guys go to class? I know you're not going to. Are you going to skip? Our you guys are already day. in so We're much trouble. So life. much trouble if we don't go. Jeez, I mean, I guess we could sit in the back, as far away That's from that tank and as close to that door as possible. No, I'm going to sit next to the tank. It was are you nice crazy? knowing you. He Could measured you your know? head and everything. And I bring out the little transistor radio. I'm gonna try to talk to it. You think it came from that thing? Maybe. Worth a shot, right? And you wanna talk to it? Well, maybe we can find out what it's doing here. Being creepy and mm -hmm. awful. Maybe it doesn't know that. Maybe it was brought here against its will. Do you have a better idea? Gee, I've heard of some crazy things, but that just takes the cake. The future. <laughs> <laughs> it's now. <laughs> okay, so you guys head up to, except for you, up mm -hmm. to the uh, science room and you take your seats. Very far away from the And the, the Murphy mm -hmm. comes in and says, hello, and there's this tall thing with the tarp over it and the um, glass case there with the water and everything else is no longer there. Oh, shoot. So welcome to science class. I'm glad to see that some of you got sleep and showed up on time. Very good. I know there there's a lot of things going on, getting used to coming to class. I wanted to talk to you all about science and where it's headed. And he starts going into his whole spiel. Um, you notice that there are uh, marks where the tank was. Um, and you're, you're pretty close to where it was too. And you notice that the, the tank looks like it's been put into uh, kind of off to the side. Mm -hmm. 
kind of behind some books, and uh, you're not sh you're like you're like listening to them. Mm -hmm. The age that we're moving into is robotics. One day, robots will help us in every way. They will. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That was my daughter. Um, anyway, they. Uh, who's also a robot? Who's also a robot? <laughs> um, Things are fine here. Okay, you broke. Yeah, it just stopped clipping. No. Uh oh. Don't hold on the. Um, I know. Just give <laughs> me half noise. a second. Too much noise. Too much noise. I know. I had to jury rig it. <laughs> well, roll it for it. It's the only thing. I oh. jury, I jury rig it. All right, fine. <laughs> and he goes, robots will help us in every single way in the future. And this, for your senior year, you will learn how to build a robot. There are a lot of things that go into it. And he pulls down the, the tarp, and there's this big you know, metal contraption there with arms and legs and the whole thing. Whoop. Oh! Wow. There you go. Go for it. It doesn't uh -huh. work. Hold on. Thank you. It went the other way. Um, and it's, you know, it's got all the whatever he goes. Now, this is a this is just a thing that I've been working on, it does very little. I can make the arms move a little bit, but in 50 to 60 years, scientists like yourselves will be able to do so much more with robots. It might even be able to run, open doors, uh, talk, buy groceries. The future is going to be incredible, and you will be there to see it. And says, and he pulls out this uh, the the tank, and uh, it's got the the eyes floating in it. Everyone's kind of gasps. Goes, don't worry, don't worry. They're not real eyes. And he puts his hand in the water and pulls one out. No, they're not real eyes. They're not real eyes. I mean, look at them. You can you can tell that they're they're fake. They're not the eyes that were in the tank mm. the night before. They're they're obviously made of some kind of fake material or something. Grapes painted. G painted <laughs> grapes. Yeah. grapes yeah. These are blue. The other ones were brown. <laughs> <laughs> it says, these components will one day be sensory input components for robots. Uh, like I said, all of this is, is conjecture at this point. But imagine a world where you could have absolutely everything done by a robot. It's going to be incredible. Now, I have a uh, request of everyone. Please uh, open up your books. And he goes into his whole spiel. Um, and the whole time, you guys feel like the robot's staring at you. Mm -hmm. OK. okay. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really kind of creepy. Um, kind of Vigo the Carpathian vibe. Vigo. <laughs> <laughs> So what um, uh, the class is done, and you guys go, and school finishes, because there's not a lot you can do. And you have to come straight home after school, because mm -hmm. you're grounded. Um, so I'm going to try and intercept these guys as they're heading home. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So what was it? It wasn't what we saw last night. But it was a robot. We saw it. Everybody saw it. Yeah, but he pulled out some eyes that were fake. It wasn't what we saw. And they kept looking at us. The fake eyes were looking at you? No, the robot was watching us the whole class. Uh, that creeps me out just thinking about those eyes. I mean, what do we do? No one wants to listen to us. I mean, do we just try and get through this semester and, and leave? I just <laughs> And go to Los Angeles? Right, right now, I'll marry Rock Hudson everything. and die. <laughs> you see, that's your solution to everything. It's not a bad solution. Rock Hudson and die. Yeah. You, you know who might listen to us? Who? Miss Derringer. She's awful nice. And, and she's closer to our age. She might really, really understand. Yeah, she's a straight shooter. Betty's got a good point there. I guess we could try. I do have a photo from last night. Well? Well, let's do it. All right. Um, 
So you guys head over to Miss Derringer's um, right a, a little bit after school because obviously it's going to take her a little while to get there. And uh, you explain your entire story to her, you know. And show her the picture. So yeah, exactly, a little montage. She goes, that, well, I understand why people have a hard time. That's a very fantastic story you're telling. Um, but, you know, maybe we should look into this. Maybe we should should take a, take a look and see if we can, hmm. So you've checked their hotel room, you say, and you say that they switched out the whatever was in the tank? Okay. Um, well, if he's dealing with robots and he's not in the hotel anymore and they've been driving around the old uh, access road, it sounds like they're probably using the power plant too. <clears throat> so, well, what can we do about it? Well, obviously we need more evidence before the cops are going to believe you. They're not going to believe me if I go to them now and say these people are doing something bad. So let's go over to the power plant now while it's still daylight. And the shift's going to be off soon. They're probably not going to do anything while people are there. So we'll, we'll wait a couple hours and we'll go over there and, and just check it out, see if they're there. If they're not there, you're just gonna have to see how the rest of the time goes, okay? Is, is the robot still up there? It was when we left school. <clears throat> Come with me. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's, you know about robots. I do, I do know about robots. Let me tell you a thing or two. Why don't you open that thing up? Oh. You'd have to drive all the way back to the- Stranger's not at the school? No, no, you guys met her at your house. house. Oh, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And plus now they're on like high alert because you because they mm -hmm. know that Rusty's key Russ's keys were missing and mm -hmm. you guys broke in and the cops told yeah. them. So and, we're gonna go stake out the power plant. Right. Yeah. Um, and very carefully. Probably I don't want to get Ms. caught by Miss Derringer. Like, yeah. Call our parents and say we were there for tutoring. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right. She she yeah. says okay. I can I can do. That. So anyway, you guys drive to the power plant after you're done and after the, the last shift goes off. Um, and sure enough, you see, they lock the front gate because why, why would they need to worry about anybody messing with the power plant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Truck drives up, unlocks the, the keys with the, the chain, drives in, okay? And uh, uh, the three men jump out of the truck and they grab what looks to be somebody or something, like a big sack or something, and uh, take it into the power plant. See, they're not supposed to be there. None of this makes any sense. What are they taking in there? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, Let's find out. I want to find out. Come on, just try to be quiet. Can I have a dex roll to see if you're going to make your... Yes. <laughs> no, not for you, for him. Uh, just. Okay. Yeah. So you're okay. You're not going to make a big noise. So, uh, you guys start to walk over and you, you get into the, uh, you get into the um, power plant, you know, because they left the door open when they went in. And... You hear sparks flying, and suddenly in your head you hear, you hear this voice, says, stop. And you kind of look around and Miss uh, Derringer. Derringer is sitting there, like just frozen. Miss Derringer? Miss Derringer? Miss Derringer, are you okay? Move away from Miss Derringer. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Um. Uh. You hear clanging. Somebody's moving around. Look, they already know we're here. There's no point in hiding. What are you thinking then? Ah. Uh, 
Hello? 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 Who's there? No callback. Okay, maybe, maybe now we should hide. <laughs> so you guys want to try to sneak up to where you're hearing the banging mm-hmm. and stuff? I, I grab Miss Derringer. <laughs> Are you going to pick her up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you guys... Does she feel like normal person weight? I don't know that she feels like normal She feels like dead weight. But made of meat. Made I of think meat. is what they're asking. Made yeah. of yeah. meat. Okay. Meat weight. Meat <laughs> weight, not metal weight. She weighs one meat. She makes one meat. <laughs> Negative, I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> so you guys make your way over to the double doors and uh, you look in and you see two of them, two of the, the two guys, they're working and there's this huge tank in the middle and there's this brain floating in the center of the water. Um, and it's hooked up to all of these things and um, it's pulsating, like it, it gives off this glow. It says, work faster. I must, I must get back into power. I cannot be here in America too long. They're definitely not from New York. And then you see a, a slab and uh, a body laying on it with the top of its skull. Can I roll, for, can I roll for squeamish? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> nope. Now, before I move on, okay. give me fright checks, everyone. Not the okay. frights. Oh. This has gone so well for us. I'm so okay, not Okay, so it makes a fright oh, check, I made but it this time. not the squeamish check. All right. Oh. I made it this time. Okay, <laughs> not you. 15. I don't have a fright Do you want to use your reroll? No. no. Okay. All right. Did you make it? I did. Okay, cool. Um, so. <laughs> Very close to a crit. Five. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Uh, so you, like, you. Mm, and just kind of lose it, like just get really sick and ugh. Uh, you look away really fast and you turn and standing right there is the third guy. <gasps> I've had enough of your meddling, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Pull off his mask. Swings. <laughs> and he like, Jesus, man. He swings at you. And he hits unless you... Uh, he hits you if you unless you want to unless you can dodge. Uh, I'm gonna try and dodge. Um, yeah. I'm sure I'm gonna have some sort of penalty because I've got. Uh, oh yeah, you do. There's Derringer on me. That's a that's. Oof. So um, I believe you're. Where is the dodge? dodge minus two? Uh, would it be parry block? So yeah, good. it's um. Parry uh, dodge. Rust. Yes. Did you find it? Dodge? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm. So uh, I'm gonna say like a, a minus a oh. minus two to your mm-hmm. dodge. Okay. So I gotta get six or under. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. Been nope. Around. Beefed it. Yeah. All right. Do you want to use a reroll? Nope. Gonna okay. take it. All right. So he does a glancing blow, does a point, and you uh, because you you're kind of off kilter. You go through the doors, and you fall, and she falls over the side, and the doors are swinging open. And she, and suddenly the brain says, excellent, we have more people we can test. Maybe one of these students will be the next ruler of Russia. <gasps> commies? <laughs> I could take anything but those dirty commies. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Attack. Okay. Uh... So uh, this guy is standing there on the other side of the door. You guys are next to him. Mm-hmm. You've fallen through, there's the tank, and then there's all of these, uh, there's the two guys who are working on some kind of apparatus to put the brain inside of your friend Greg. Not Not Greg! Greg. Full circle Uh, even. (laughs) Wow. So in this room, the tank is filled with liquid, right? Right. And is it hooked up directly to like a power source? What kind of tubes like, are in there? There's Coils bunches of it. tubes and bunches of pa- like cables I'm going out. I'm just wondering if like, is it a direct electrical current or is it something like if electricity is put in the water tank? Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like there's direct current going into some kind of apparatus that's like putting oxygen in. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, so you could probably take direct current into like a 
yeah. a zap. If, in I'm, the water. if I was like looking around the room real quick, trying to look for like. You've been in the plant before. Um, Father, you, daughter you, day. You know that you would have to. <laughs> Bring your daughter <coughs> to work day. <laughs> you know you would have to have Encourage gloves yeah. to do it, um, which you could you could find. Um, let's but let's start with initiative real sure, quick. Sure, sure. Great. Okay. Just trying to assess. No, I get it totally. Um, so it's after your basic speed. Okay. So um, let's Yours see. Yours is very precisely. Mine's decimal five point two five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, GURPS, GURPS is like you can get really super granular. Super granular. Super, super granular. I'm going last because I'm a klutz. So like Betty's at 5.5. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Jimmy is at 5.7. What are you at? 5.25. 5.25. And then you're at? Six. Six. Wow. You're so pretty Lucy. Awesome here. And then on delay, on delay, you guys are faster than the, <laughs> you guys are faster than the Russians. All right. You're faster than the Russians. You're faster right. than you the Russians. You're right, we're faster than the commies. <laughs> you know why? It's, we went the American way. We went the American way. So what, uh, uh, so you go first. What do you want to do? I'm going to, um, trying to think. Like what? How is this? Is this room like just like a short, blocky room? Like what it's kind a of really a space big. We're in. It's a really big room. It almost looks like a movie set. It's very large. There's all of these like cables coming down. And I was wondering if I, if there's somewhere I can go, like climb up out of the way to go look for gloves yeah. and a cable. Yeah, there's catwalk above. Yeah, so I where the gloves are kept. Where, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I want to. Oddly wanna, enough. Yes. So I want to. I want to kind of climb up out of the way so that I can look okay. at doing something with the the tank there and look for some gloves because i've been in here before okay cool uh so um you're running up uh uh because you're freaked out and uh, there's people although you know, I, did, I did not oh yeah that's true time. so, so I, just i'm not as a, a scared just give me a dex check for climbing up quickly i actually have climbing oh give me climbing i forgot you had climb i didn't Oh yeah, I totally Ooh. made it. All right, so you're fine. You get up the, the catwalk, so you're on top of the catwalk. That's what you're doing this yep. round. Okay, so uh, that brings us to 5.7. Is that you or you? Me. You. So you're on the ground. You have the teacher on top of you. You're kind of like, you oh, yeah. know. So what do you want to do? Not Throw her off and get way. back up, or how are you? I'm gonna try and roll her off of me. That's not a problem. Okay. And uh, <laughs> She's completely, yeah. Limb. Okay. Quick, get them! You're here Whichever is the first nearest of the two henchmen, I'm going to move into go fist the cops with them. Okay, um, so they're both kind of together, and then there's the guy on the other side of the door that you just got pushed through, and she just came through the door and went upstairs. Do you want to go after the two or the one that's next to them? Uh, I'm going to go after the two. Okay. I'm probably the best fighter. The All right, so. so you run up towards one of them, and as you get closer, the smell of... Blood starts oh. to fill your nostrils, and uh, you you get up there, and and Greg has been uh, strapped to the table, and he's got wires going into the top of his head, and they're they're like his eyes are moving around, Oof. and looking around and stuff. Mm -hmm. If I just punch the machine, it'll save him. <laughs> <laughs> so one of them turns. Uh, turns around and, and like, ah! Oh. So uh, you go first. Uh, I've got a solid eight out of 13. Okay. Let me see. All right, cool. I literally wrote Russian mooks on the Nice. Russian mooks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. I like the B-movie logic of punching the machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At some point, I think I have to double punch one of the Okay, guys so you out. hit him. How much damage do you do? Six. Woo! Get over it. <laughs> okay, cool. So. There's no bonus, no plus one or anything. No, I don't have no. a strength bonus. Oh, okay. All right, so you. He stumbles back, and the other guy, uh, well, it's not his turn yet. Um, <laughs> so he stumbles back, uh, but, and you hit him pretty good. You hear, you hear a crunch as you slam your fist into him. Um, all right, so that brings us to. Uh, 5.5. Is there anything like a wrench or hammer or anything nearby? Yes. Okay, I grab it. And smack the guy. Huh? 
Am I close to a guy? You guys or am are I close to, to the, the tank. The one you guys are still in the 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 outer room. The the guy came up behind you and pushed him through the door. Okay. And so you guys are right next to him. Okay. So then I'll I'll take a swing at the guy. Okay. Uh, just uh, give me do, use your bra roll. You should have a bra. Um, and Tim, you can handle the robot. That was my plan. <laughs> Where's bra? Okay, brawling. Gonna fight the robot, right? I don't know the way you talk about them. I'm gonna fight it. Uh, I'm gonna make no! it. No! I'm gonna use a table or. Oh, you have a reroll. Re -roll. <laughs> They're weak if you hit them in the head. <laughs> no! No, it's one over. So you, you want to do that with table reroll? I don't know. I don't yeah, see anything. Yeah. Okay. Might as well. Rerolls would be great right now. Yeah. We love you. We love you. Uh, Eleven. Yes, I made it. Help me Bink. achieve my dream. You hit him good. Um, it's an improvised weapon. It's a, it's a, like, hard piece of metal. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna give you like a plus three to your d6 for damage. Uh, so eight. He stumbles back and falls down and ah, oh, ah. Uh, my nice. My nice. My nice. My nice. Crazy kids. I'm got in <laughs> So, um, <laughs> yeah. nice. um, so uh, you've knocked him prone, okay? Uh, so that brings us to uh, five, so I believe that's you. Yeah. Oh, well, no, no, you're five, two, five. Yeah. So go ahead. Uh, well, I'm going to make a beeline for the robot and start fiddling with it. Okay. <laughs> oh my. These nuts are real. I was about to know it was that kind of show. <laughs> the problem now, open? here's the reality about <laughs> this particular joke. When you're listen, obviously when you're listening to 1950s stuff and before, mm -hmm. it, it's the the innocence is so there that they say so many things that can be obviously misconstrued or made into jokes or whatever. Oh yeah. Um, so it's. It's very B movie. There's the famous uh, boner line from a uh, okay. Joker in Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the biggest boner. <laughs> <laughs> right, and all of us are like, hey, twelve year old boy. Um, so you're running for the mm -hmm. for the robot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you run over. Um, I'm sure there's like an access panel or something. Yeah, yeah. there's an access e? panel. And uh, you hear uh, you hear the brain go, no, don't let him touch the robot, stop him and one of the guys starts to stand up and, and run towards you. Okay. Um, and you see all these wires and stuff. I can't, I, you, we don't have a donor yet. You can't let him touch the robot. So, what do you want to do? Well, I want to fiddle with the robot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see if you can make it go atomic. Uh, I mean, is that something to be <laughs> electronics <laughs> operation? Or, yeah. Or, okay, cool. Yeah, all right, here we go. Cut the blue oh, wire. Oh. No. Do we still have that table? Nope. 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 You guys yeah. are done with table rerolls. Hey I'm just getting. <laughs> 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 so this you so start. Easy, the robot. Yeah. <laughs> and you uh, you hit the wrong thing, and it sh gives you a good shock, and you take four points. Nice. Ouch. Now, not only did you get shocked, but you're kind of in shock when you take damage in GURPS. Again, painful and realistic. You get negatives now Ooh. because you have. So um, you, I imagine your hair is light. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm just going to give you a negative like one. Mm -hmm. uh, it caps out at about negative four. Okay. So it's like a it's like a jolt. Um, Don't worry, gang. I got the. So now we get to the Slide. the mook's turn. Um, so one of them runs over and. He's going to just like hit you hard, mm -hmm. right? I rolled a five. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. so he hits you hard. Um, you can give me a, uh, a like a dodge. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Yeah. oh, no. Timmy, no. Uh, you take two points. Okay. What are you down to? Four. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so he knocks you um, over. The other guy uh, starts to run towards because you you had got him back up and you had hit him um yeah, uh, trying to trouble you try yeah so he's going to take a swing at you yeah. 
Okay, um, that was a 6, 10, 12. Um, they miss. Um, the guy out in the main room is like, oh, he reaches for it and he pulls out a gun. Oh, geez. <gasps> Not a gun. Uh, but now we're back up at the top of the round. So you're up on the catwalk, you're the first person. Okay, so I'm looking for a pair of the insulated gloves and I'm trying to find um, like a wire that's maybe in the wall that's got like a longer piece on it that I can pull and lower down into the tank. Sure, you can, you can see one, um, but it's gonna be pretty heavy. You might need like an extra person to help you move it. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, you, you find one, you put on the gloves, you have, you know, you start to fiddle with it, but it, it's a pretty hefty thing. Mm -hmm. um, give me a strength roll. If you do really well, you might be able, with <laughs> adrenaline, Come to on, three, to... three, three, three. <laughs> you guys all have average strengths. So. Yeah, uh, bad, I That's still made it though. Okay, yeah. so you, yeah. and you start to, you know, walk it over to the side mm -hmm. and you're gonna just throw it over. Um, in the meantime, because we are on seconds, uh, we go to um, uh, 5.7, which I believe is you. Mm -hmm. uh, so he has just swung at you and, and you... And I've belt him in the stomach. Okay, give me a roll. That's going to hit Ooh. 9 out of 13. Okay, nice. cool. Uh, you, you hit him. So do you damage? Two. Two points. He, he goes, ah! Ah! Look at him! Falls over and you knock him out. Okay, um, the guy that's, uh, let's see, next is Betty. Okay, so um, do I see what she's trying to do? Yes, you do. You also see the guy getting up and pulling the gun out of his, out of his you The know, one I just smacked? The one that you smacked. I'm going to smack him again. Okay, um, I'll give you a plus uh, four because he's prone. Smack him in his gun hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, you hit him. How much damage do you do? Get a plus four to that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Three. All right. So you run over and you, hit him and and on the screen it just all you see is what what looks to be ketchup, flying up in the air <laughs> as you hit him. And oh you, no, it's black and white. We could use chocolate syrup. Yeah. Chocolate syrup. So all better. of this stuff comes up, and uh, <laughs> um, that brings us to. Um, Let's see, you, mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Uh, so there's the guy on top of me, right? Yeah. I want to just kick him. Okay. <laughs> uh, kind of ungentlemanly, if you follow me. Yes. <laughs> like you're in a barroom brawl. Uh, and I'm at a minus one. Or so... blitz. <laughs> Nine. No. No! No! Because to kick is eight, and that is way over, so. Yeah. Well, go ahead and use your brawl, though, because we're... Okay. Uh, playing we're even, playing real low. So that just does it. Just, just does it. Yeah. Okay. So you kick him really hard. Yeah. Uh, in the strudels. Uh, give me a uh, roll. <laughs> oh, they're girls. Two points. Uh, so two. Yeah. two points. Yeah. Okay. So he goes ah. One for each strudel. <laughs> falls over <laughs> and uh, uh, falls over to the side and is just like oh. My strudel. My strudel. Yeah. Um, that. My schnitzel group. <laughs> My schnitzel group. <laughs> Another one I can't wait to show. <laughs> Let's go for a roll in the hay. Roll in the hay. It's fun. We roll, roll, roll in the hay. I don't know what you got out of the deal. Oh, sweet mystery of life. <laughs> okay, so um, we're back up at the top of the round, okay? Um, and you're lowering this thing in. And the brain starts to, like, the water starts to boil, and it's like, stop, stop! Uh, give me a roll against your uh, will, I believe. Yeah, your will. Okay. <laughs> mm. oh. and suddenly, halfway down, it's hanging just above the water. And you look up and you see her, and she's she's just holding it there. And she can't seem to move. Lucy, drop it. You suddenly get in. Uh, you suddenly get inspiration. Okay. And you say, "Do it for Rock Hudson." <laughs> exactly. Yes. 
And you Rock. <laughs> and you let go. <laughs> no! <laughs> Nine! <laughs> And the the the, uh, the cable drops in the water, and there's all this. Yeah, well, yeah. it's a bad film. <laughs> they don't they don't know many Russian words. So and it starts boiling, and all these sparks. Can I jump and grab Greg and try and pull him away from? The... Yeah, yeah, you can do that. And, and there's, a band -aid. Be there's this whole like huge explosion and everything else and uh it's a superimposed explosion on top of <laughs> yes. the other yeah. image and then a very hard <laughs> cut scene to a bunch of cops standing out front of the plant and uh, uh you know pike standing there and goes you know we're lucky we have such great american kids to be able to keep our country free and then the credits roll <laughs> 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 So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the game. I definitely had a lot of fun. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Delightful. Um, we have a ton of stuff going on this week. Uh, tomorrow we have Disorganized Play with Tom Lommel. Then Tom Lommel again with his on Wednesday with D&D. Don't forget Thursday is Tom Lommel. <laughs> is it? All no, all it's all Dave, right? Is, is Dave? it Dave? Yeah, he's nice. got his disorganized play uh, part two on Thursday. Right? Oh, okay, oh. okay. Oh, well, yeah, so it's... part two. That's when he goes back and talks about the game before. Uh, and then on Friday night <laughs> is <Trilama>. my uh, <laughs> black bag game. Uh, so Ooh. definitely check that out. Uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, I actually ended on time, which is amazing because I didn't really think it was going to happen. It's awesome. um, so uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it and have a good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.